and welcome to Exandria Unlimited. I am Abria Iyengar, and though I normally go by Game Master, my outfit would suggest today that Dungeon Master is a far more appropriate appellation. <laughs> so we'll go with that. Uh, before we get started with our glorious finale, I want to remind you all one more time about this most excellent of tables. So let's do some introductions. Robbie. Woo, my name is Robbie Damon, and I left all my latex at home. Oh. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm not equally dangerous as Dorian stormed the air Genasi Bard. Here, rock your world. Let's go. Finale time. Woo. Liam. Uh, I'm Liam O'Brien. I am wearing latex. You just can't see it. <laughs> uh, I am challenge. playing as Orum of the Erishari, the halfling of my dreams. Aww. He is so oh dreamy. Let's play. Ooh. He's so dreamy. Don't say nice He's things like I won't kill you off, Ashley. Oh, hello. <laughs> I am Ashley Suzanne Johnson. I am playing Fern Calloway, and um, I was going to try to make a latex joke, like my skin is, that's, I can't, I got to work on that. <laughs> Too quick to think of something. We'll workshop it. Anyway. It's a work in progress. So I'm a fond druid. Hey. 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 <laughs> Hi, I'm Matthew Mercer. I play Dariax, the dwarven sorcerer, and I chose instead to go with more of a vinyl tight pants. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, okay. Okay. The very... squeak in room is minimal. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Love to hear it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy Carrero. I play Opal, a Hexblade warlock who is fresh out of spells. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's about. <laughs> uh, Warlock Live. All right, since these episodes are wonderfully pre-taped, we're going to throw to our favorite time traveler in the whole world, Matthew Mercer, for some announcements and sponsor reads. Take it away, Cozy Matt. Thank you, Abria. This episode of EXU is sponsored by Bethesda and ZeniMax Online Studios and their latest release, The Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood which is available now on all platforms. Join the over 18 million players in the award-winning RPG and enter the Gates of Oblivion. ESO Blackwood is optimized for Xbox Series X, S, and PlayStation 5, and both the base game and the Blackwood chapter are on sale on select platforms, so act fast. Check out everything right now at elderscrollsonline.com slash buy. This episode is also sponsored by Sega and their game Humankind, not Dogkind, sorry a turn-based historical strategy game where you'll be rewriting the entire narrative of human history and combining cultures to create a civilization that's as unique as you are. From the humble origins of a Neolithic tribe to the early modern British era, the legacies of each culture you select carry on throughout the ages, giving you unique bonuses with a near endless combination of outcomes. Check out the game and you can visit store.humankind.game to pre-purchase Humankind right now and get 17% off. Thank you so much for joining us live on Twitch and YouTube, but to join in our live and moderated community chat, please head on over to our Twitch channel. And you can join us next Thursday, August 19th, on Twitch and YouTube for our second Elder Scrolls Online session, sponsored by our friends at Bethesda and ZeniMax Online Studios. Marisha Ray will be taking over the GMC to continue the adventure from our last Elder Scrolls Online session with the incredible cast of Michelle Wynn Bradley, Abria Iyengar, Laura Bailey, Sam Regal, and Taliesin Jaffe. And please be sure to join us for Exandria Unlimited's roundtable style campaign wrap up hosted by our very own creative director, Marisha Ray, on Thursday, August 26th on Twitch and YouTube. And with that, from me and a delightfully sleepy Omar, back to you, Abria. Hey, Matt. I think it's so great that you decided to do that last ad read in a full Dorian cosplay <gasps> with the face yes. paint. It's beautiful and just the attention and craftsmanship. It was a treat, thank you. Thank you for that. Get to work, Matt. I love you. He's not so cozy in mood. <laughs> well, ooh. Uh, I better start getting on it. <laughs> 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 you. I love you. Love you. <laughs> I actually, I love you all. So, are you ready? Yeah. No. I okay. know, yes. But no. <laughs> all right. Well, then let's start the finale of Exandria Unlimited. <sighs>
One night in Nyerdal Park. Revelations, realizations, and a new direction forward. You decided to head south through the lower jungle towards the heart of the Iron Authority in order to find Tetrarch Umeji to find and avert some yet unknown disaster. You came across the ruins of Nyerdal Sarket, the spiritual center of the Kunira Tetrarchy, and marveled at a massive floating stone hexahedron covered in runes and light. You climbed it, translated it, and inadvertently gave portions of your own life force to summon violent stone constructs. Fern, you seized control of the entire cube, and by halting its rotation, caused it to shatter apart and unleash a bright blue miasma of arcane energy that flows around you and through you and remains still. It also called her to you all. Murata Nizalor, the purple-clad arcanist from Singorn that has stalked you halfway around the world and even into the streets of Nyrdalpak, has arrived. She attacked Opal during your fight, sending residuum needles into both of your shoulders and your forehead and tethering you to something. As she stepped out, finally into view, she spoke words of greeting, even as her magic slammed Opal to the ground. Our ever defiant, our warlock growled back. And as she stood over Opal, our villain retorted, I'm not talking to you. Orem, you're the closest to the scene right now, just a scant 40 feet away. Make a perception check for me. Natural 20. <laughs> well, dang, I'll let you ask a follow-up question, but I will offer that as you're watching all of this occur, as you see this woman standing over your friend and comrade in arms, you hear behind you, the ever approaching footsteps of one last stone construct, the one that you knocked off of the oh, platform no. very early in the fight and I am not bitter about at all, <laughs> headed in your direction. With a natural 20, uh, you actually see that like off in the clearing at that very edge of the trees uh, to the side, you see little mister, a little DeBrazis monkey that's like cheering on his mom and staring up at the platform. And with a natural 20, I will offer you something that I was trying to keep close to the vest. That Murata Nizalor is not alone. That's what I was gonna ask. Okay, is there anything else you wanna know? No, I just wanted to know if I could see, in addition to the lumbering fella behind me, if there was anyone else hiding behind her. I gotta give it to you, we respect a crit in this house. There are two other figures, deeper, hanging back in the shadows. So what do you want to do? Uh, I am going to shoot. Is she right above? She's on Opal? Uh, she's not like making physical contact. She's just sort of hovering imperiously over her in a moment that I have decided in my head is very cool looking. <laughs> You're not alone. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> have inspiration for believing in my vision. Yay! Yay! <laughs> if I'm able, I'm going to dive off of the column that I'm on yep. into a roll and out of the roll into a run and try to get uh, into the middle of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, I'm not gonna make you roll for that because you're nimble and I just, we don't need to hear you succeed again, you're fine. <laughs> you jump off and you're headed over. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw. <clears throat> that is a 19. With a 19, you're able to like curve just as you hear the whistle of a crossbow bolt that was headed for your center mass and you're able to like kind of Turn it, turn it away and not get hit by it, but you know that there is some suppressing fire if you keep running forward. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? I'm going to continue. Okay. Murata like immediately stiffens up and steps back. And you're still pinned on the ground. Do I have like any use of my hands? Uh, possibly. Okay. The spell you attempted to cast didn't require right. like any movement on your end, so 
I don't know if you necessarily have a strong sense yet of how you are physically limited by uh, those needles and those tethers. Can I try to stick my hand in my pocket? Yeah, give me an athletics check. Actually, give me a sleight of hand check. Six. I'll roll against it. There's a chance. There's not. <laughs> <laughs> As you go, uh, you're straining against what feels like gravity quadrupled okay. on you. And as you kind of get your hand just over your pocket, uh, this is the last thing that I'm gonna let Murata do before you can get there and kind of interpose yourself. She kicks your hand away and is stepping on your wrist. Okay. And then you get there. What's everyone else doing? You guys are on the platform highest and farthest away. It's gonna take you, you're about 120 feet away from like where the action is yeah. for what it's worth. Like 120 feet straight down pretty much? Uh, you're a little closer, so I'll say you're probably about 80 feet away. Mm. You were back on the top, back edge of the platform. Okay. Yeah, we're both up on that platform where we just took that guy out. Oh yeah, right? that's right. So I guess at this point I'm like, Ah, oh, thanks for the assist. No problem. Oh, you're not going to jump off the edge, too. Well, how much do we see? Well, I'll let you see all of it. I want you to see it. We have to get down there. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm not going to put my arm out. Yes. Okay. All right, and I just grab you at the waist and <laughs> take nice. off. Nice. Oh, you're bigger than I thought. Oh. I'm very heavy. Uh, no, it's you're not. You're not you're heavy. Dense. You're just dense. Very, very dense. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot furry of though. It's nice and comfy. Um, and kind of looking over, uh, Dorian, you're still up on there as well. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm below you, like right, right in the center one. Yeah. Look at my other arm and go. Maybe room for one more. <sighs> All right, we'll give it a try. And we'll do a classic yeah, one of those. Ah, oh, nice. so dope. And it takes all of Dariax's strength to not immediately plummet, mm. but gradually, strainingly bring them to the ground. I'm <laughs> trying to. I've, I've got my, my wing ear. boots on, trying to give you a little. <laughs> a little flutter. Yeah. I'm off kilter now. Oh. I'm my your hands if you believe. <laughs> oh, okay. All righty. Shit. Point over towards what's yeah. happening over here. Arm, what are you doing? Uh, shield up, I'm short, but shield up over Opal, uh, trying to push back against this woman. I start booking it. All right, Opal. you guys are on the ground running and you hear it too. And then around the corner, sort of erupting from that lower, like broken miasma below you where the platforms were, you actually see that last stone construct, a little bit shattered, a little bit broken, falling apart actively, is sprinting across and headed straight for Mister. Oh. Okay. Um. Mister? Come here. Come to Mama really quick. Real fast, come on. He immediately starts sprinting for you. Okay. Um. How close is the construct to him? Uh, the way this is working out, Mister is going to reach you, uh, the three of you, at the same time this construct meets the three of you. Okay. Finish Wait. the job? Yeah. You don't have time to talk. I need all three of you to make a dexterity save. Nah, right. Okay. Ooh. Glad. Ooh. 16. Okay. 15. All right. Dirty 20. Ooh, goodness. Uh, yeah, as Mr. kind of like gets to you all, you're able to see as uh, the construct comes forward, arm stretched and tries to like break the ground under you and you're able to like roll away. So you guys, <laughs> the three of you are facing off against this uh, one other one. Okay. Um, my, would my staff still be activated? Uh, did you grab snakes with you? Like you just had some loose snakes. Just some loosey goosies. <laughs> just, you know, <laughs> around. Yeah, and you just have like loose snakes in your hand as oh, you were flying yeah. down. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like, ah! <laughs> 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 Turn it to wild, y'all. <laughs> okay. 
let me think of something else here. We have we have options here, guys. We yes. have options. Okay, I'm gonna let you like think about it, form a plan between the three of you, and we'll cut back to uh, Opal and Orem. Oh, thanks for thanks for dividing based on letters. That is helpful. <laughs> I appreciate that. Inspiration. A lot. <laughs> yeah, you know what? All of you have a round of inspiration Yay! going around the alley. Um, okay, can I? Okay, so. Can you paint a picture? So I'm like pinned to the ground. One of my hands, she's pinning yep. it, and then he's on top, like on yeah, top he's of like Opal. interposing himself between getting my shield in her face. Yeah, in in Murata's face. Yeah. Do you have your other hand available? Oh, it's got a sword in it. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I mean, I want to use my I want to use my other hand. Okay, what do you want to try to do? I want to stick my fucking hand in my pocket. You just try for the pocket again? Yeah, because there's a ring in the pocket, and I want to put the ring on to see if it happens. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an athletic blah, an athletics check for me. Oh, come With on. With disadvantage, because I said it's very heavy out. Today. I know, I know it's heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy out today. I love that. <laughs> that's the mood for the last year. Yeah, no joke. Okay, so that's going to be, oh, that's a minus one. That's going to be a 13. Okay. You know what? I want to say your passive perception is high enough that you like see what's happening here, and you can absolutely like move your shield a little bit to give her some cover. Sure, I could. Uh, oh, you mean opposing uh, her view? Yeah. Yeah. You're just sort of you're obscuring enough of Murata's view that she's mm-hmm. going to let this happen. Okay. So what do you grab from your pocket? So while I'm pinned down, I would like to go across gra- to my other pocket, and I feel for the ring that I stole from one of Murata's like assassins. Mm-hmm. That made him invisible. I don't know if that's the thing that made him invisible, but I put it on, and as I put it on, I try to like locate Ted somehow without saying anything to see if she's around. I'm gonna make you make a choice here. Okay. Do you care more about finding Ted or equipping this ring? Uh, finding Ted. Okay, so you're like fishing in your pocket. Uh, what are you doing to try to like reach out to Ted? I, I'm literally just like seeing, like in my mind, calling out for her to see if she'll answer me. Okay, uh, make a charis. I'm gonna call this a charisma saving throw. You're not saving against a bad effect. I just want this to be based heavily in your spellcaster ability. That's a 13. Okay. You reach out and call, and you feel, you feel, uh, you feel Ted standing there. You can hear her sort of yelling back at you. She is screaming, but she's awake. She's up. She sees through your eyes everything that's happening right now. And she is way more freaked out about this than you are. Oh, yeah. For me or for herself? With a 13, you're not sure. (laughs) Okay. Um, I'm going to go from you to you. Oren, what do you want to do? I'm going to scream out over my shoulder, Murata didn't come alone! And I'm going to then push back with the shield and then slash uh, at her arm. Amazing, okay. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. Against my girl, this is hurtful. Uh, not too good, uh, that is a 14 to hit. Uh, yeah. You slash out and you see that your sword kind of gets lost in the billows of her fabric and never quite makes purchase. Even though there's something visually, you can see her physicality, you know that should have hit something. Mm -hmm. But it seems to have gotten lost within the folds of her robe. Hmm. And she takes a step back and just looks over her shoulder and says, all right, fine. If we're just going to do this, then we're going to do this. So I need all of you to roll initiative. Okay. Ooh, who's the shit? It's time. <clears throat> oh shit, I meant to, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna roll it again. <laughs> I just wanted to see which dice was gonna be the best. Oh, oh that So you just rolled good. 13 dice to get like, oh, well, I'm sure an initiative has popped up in there somewhere. All right, uh, 25 to 20. 22, rolled a natural 20. Ooh. What? I get them every now and then. 21 for me. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Team Double D. Let's Please go. Please stop being the same name next to each other. <laughs> Never. D, 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 D. Very hurtful. You want to get skipped? This is how you get skipped. <laughs> You're the uppercase, I'm the lowercase. Okay, so we got that. Mm. Oh, why should you lowercase? Yeah. <laughs> smart. Look at that, guys. Yeah, Learning so is a scary. lifelong process. <laughs> Dorian knows 21. Mm-hmm. 
cool, cool, cool. 18 and 3. All right. Uh, 19 to 15. 19. Amazing. 18. Woo. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh, hold on. My guys rolled really, really badly. So this is going to be very fun. Alarm 18. Uh, 14 to 10. 12. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, boy. I have some ideas, but that could change by the time Use everybody... Use them all. Heart Use them all. Up, got us rolling me too, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. That everyone? That everyone. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Might be this coffee or. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. You're gonna start death. Uh, hope you guys ask these people's names because I wrote them. All right, Dariax, <clears throat> you're up first. All right. So hearing what uh, Orem says over there and glancing back in that direction, do I see the other two figures that he's pointed out, or do I just see the one? Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. With advantage, because you were pointed in the right direction. Alrighty. That's a 14. Yeah. You spot them uh, as they're sort of like moving through and the like light is beginning to hit them. You see uh, a taller figure, male, a caster, and a shorter figure, a female, holding a crossbow. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, I'm going to say, and how far away is Orm from me? Uh, about 25 feet. 25 feet? Like. All right, well, let's go ahead and finish this guy off and catch up with them. I'm going to go ahead and, since Bless has dropped in the interim, I'm going to go ahead and cast Bless again. Yes. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on Orem, oh. Dorian, and Fern. Make an Arcana check for me. Uh, oh. No, oh, Bless. Bless. No, sorry. Opal's oh, not Bless. <laughs> oh, no. Opal's, Opal's, Opal's magically there. pinned to the ground. They're more useful at the moment. That's true. That's true. Uh, that is B as in seven. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was fine. I asked it for no particular reason. Oh, fine. <laughs> Anything with your bonus action? Uh, or no bonus action, but if I, if I'm, if I, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fly up about 50 or so feet to kind of get an overall Ooh. view and to get out of the, the mix to have better choices. Okay. If I still got the wings. You've still got the wings. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, you are going to take an opportunity attack. Sure. Okay. Sure. Eat, eat that reaction. All right, 19? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> and you get backhanded. Why did I pick the darkest die? For five points of bludgeoning damage. Ow! Oh. It just swats you upward. I, I deserve that. <laughs> okay, Dorian, you're up. So we've got this trio sort of at our flank, and then uh, coming from the other side is our is our rock our rock construct. Uh, the rock construct is right in front of you now because oh he's he not made, sprinting anymore. He's yeah like, he he made it. He's he here. He's here. Shit. He's here and backhanded uh, Dariax. Fuck. Yep. Uh, but are we engaged yet? Or yeah, we are engaged. Yeah. I do still maintain my concentration from the hit. By the way. Smart. Thank you. Things I meant to ask and I remembered. Um. Oh, that's right. I need to knock the bless off of you. Noted. <laughs> God, that sounds very <laughs> aggressive. Um, the bless was a very useful last time. I will not let that stand. Was very twice. useful. I, having been on that Big side, thing. respect it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, am I now that he's flown away fire and she sees you? Is is my, could I still do my fifteen foot cube without hitting anybody? If I were to put myself at the edge of the cube, could I cast Thunder Wave? I'm hundred percent fine with that. Yeah. Okay. You can. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely I'll make that find cube. the angle. Go out that way. I'll find yeah, the angle. For cool. Sure. Then I will. Uh, I will cast uh, uh, Thunder Wave. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, I roll a fifteen for the that, save. That saves for sure. Okay. So uh, half damage for half two damage. damage. Oh, 10, 5. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah He's yeah. already pretty injured. So, Fell. yeah, what does it look like? Ooh, uh, it's 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 quick because of everything that's going on is so quick, and, I, and I've pulled it off once before, so I'm just gonna sort of be protecting this side, I'm gonna give him another, that sort of power snap that comes down, but yeah. this, this time, instead of sort of radiating out from me, it sort of comes from above in the miasma among, among the, the, the broken up pieces of the cube and just, Pops right between us and pushes it. You gotta make an arcana check for me with advantage. Okay. Fifteen. Advantage, advantage. Oh, advantage. Oh, yeah, thank you. 
Oh my god. Oh, better. The Eight. metagaming pigeons are even out here. Uh, 18. <laughs> uh, dir dirty 20. With a dirty 20, the moment you reach up into like this arcane cloud, you feel almost as if it grabs you back. And I'm gonna say uh, it doesn't do half damage, it does full damage. Oh, shit. As you do that, as you reach into the ether <clears throat> and this power flows towards you and your desire to wreck shop. Sweet. So I will double that damage. All right, beautiful. Sweet. Yes. Uh, passive perception is incredibly high. You see that even as uh, Murata like sort of dances away from you, her eyes flick over into Dorian's direction and she saw that and she smirks just a little bit and begins to look up. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, it's my bad boy's turn. He's gonna attempt to hit you. He misses. As, uh, yeah, that thunder wave like knocks off. You see like the seams at his shoulder, like the thinnest points of him are beginning to crack. And as he like goes and shifts to try to hit you again, his arm looks in danger of falling off. And he's gonna make, uh, attempt to make the grapple check again. So please make a strength saving throw. You have to be the 13. Plus a d4. Uh, Plus a D4! I think I'll need 18. No! Yeah, 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 but I appreciate it. Hey. Thank you for blessing me. It's a mere <laughs> And once again, my boys who have hugs from their primary thing that they do fail to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Dance away. <laughs> All right, Opal, you're up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to cast Hexblade's Curse on Murata. Mm -hmm. And I, as an action, I'm going to try to unpin myself. Is that an action? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm try to do to that. Break the scrapple. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. All right. So, are you just trying to like free your wrist? No, I'm trying to free. I guess free the whole situation. What are you doing to try to? I would like to move, ma'am. How are you trying to move? Uh, I am asking an intelligence a, question here. By Either your character or you? A by well, the only place she's ha she has me pinned is my. Okay. Just Which, as a where's she making contact? Been, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a while. Two weeks it's been a while. since we've been in this game. Yeah. Uh, you know that like she's stepping on your wrist, but the reason you're pinned to the ground is that uh, those like needles right. of residuum okay. have slammed you down to the ground. So the points of like gravity are actually in your shoulders and your head right now. Yeah, so I'd like to get rid of those. And I don't I don't know how. What do you want to do? <laughs> well, I mean tempting. Like my, talk to me. My first thought is to try to break them off. This is gonna sound very condescending, but thank you for finally interacting with the needles. Yes. <laughs> cool. Well, we didn't have time before. <laughs> we were in battle. There's a lot going on. There's a lot all going right, on. All right. Um, I would, I would like to use my unpinned hand, whichever one is free, to try to break them. I think there's one here, one here, and one here. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to break them. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, once again, your hand is in your pocket right now. So, do you care more about putting on the ring, or trying to interact with your free hands? with these needles. Action economy, what do you want to do? Well, because I'm stupid, because I'm stupid, I'm gonna put the ring on. Okay. <laughs> oh. The ring slips on. Make an arcana check for me. <laughs> I mean, you guys, is this entertaining? I yes. love it. Yes. I hope so. Yes. It's this, uh, my lucky fucking number this game, a 14. Well, it was a 13 before, so you're oh, that's good. True. <laughs> I do have a plus one on and Arcana. You're good. The moment you slip your finger onto it, uh, you have this sort of like sense of how the ring works. Okay. It literally is like as you like kind of disengage it from your finger, you are taking off the spell, and it's not just invisibility, invisibility; it's greater invisibility. Okay. Which allows you to cast spells while you're within it. <laughs> okay. So I go put that on. Yep. And you screw it back on. You screw it back Cast on. Spell. And um, you disappear from view. Orum, she disappears. Disappear. And because I have already used my bonus action and my action, can yep. I move now that I'm invisible or am I still pinned? You're still pinned down. Okay. So what are my options? What can I do right now? Nothing? Pray? Can you just think about what you wanted to do? Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, and yep, okay, well, I'm just quietly in my mind going to try to keep connecting to Ted. Love it. I yeah. mean, you have her. I know, but like, getting... tell me more! Ah! <laughs> tell me more! Stop yelling! She's here! Use your her. words, bitch! <laughs> Don't call me bitch, I'm having a day! <laughs> okay. All here screaming from the sky above you. Oh my god, they disintegrated Opal! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Uh, so Murata kind of looks under her foot. She still feels your wrist under her shoe and kind of gives a little smirk like, oh, you kept it. Sure. A present. I'll reclaim it soon enough. And she reaches up. And she's a villain, so she loves a good monologue. And she, I know the two of you can hear me. And I have burned so much energy, strength, resources just to get here. And now, but you've given me such a delicious opportunity. How could I say no? And uh, lightning begins to shoot out of her hands and that blue miasma begins to turn purple. And Dariax, you yeah. see from your height that there is a sigil beginning to form. Dark runes, extremely complicated, a lot like the ones that you saw at the ash hole, beginning to form at the center of that like circular plinth under the shattered cube. And she goes, oh, oh, this will be fun. I love this for us. And she pulls down her arm and that purple energy shoots up and out and everywhere. And I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Ooh. Nine. Nine. 21. Five. Ooh. 14. Okay. Yes. 13. <laughs> Are you so, do your dice know that there's other numbers? No, I need to switch them up. Five. He's fired. <laughs> uh, just Fern and uh, Dorian, you both get disoriented for a little bit. There'll be a mechanical disadvantage to the next action you take that involves a d20. But when your eyes sort of clear, you hear this sound of breaking and tearing and changing and the churning of the earth. You look out and see that the jungle in a mile and a half in every direction has been flattened and this entire place has been leveled. Oh no. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh no. What did you do? Boop, boop, boop. Oh God, do this carefully. It's stuck on a tree, oh no. We couldn't talk for a minute, Orm. Just like say hey. Can I talk about yourself? <laughs> uh, talk about yourself. Oh no! Oh, yeah. That's a ruin. Yeah. It's a ruin. Ruin. You ruined it. A ruin. Are you? R O N P. It's ruined. Ruined. Ruin. Ruin. All right. Ruined. Okay. That's pretty. Let's get you guys out on the field. I'm gonna say you're off here in the corner. Boop. And my sweet baby girl who's never done anything wrong around me. <laughs> over you. Our arms here too. <sighs> Alrighty. How can I put you most easily? I'm going to throw you guys over here. Dariax, you're high in the sky. Oh! I should have grabbed the thing. I gave you the ability to fly and didn't bring the tall stuff out. All right, I'll put you over there and we'll use fine. our imaginations. Imagine. We love imagination. And my big, cool, thick boy. You heard a cool fuck boy? No. Yeah, <laughs> a very cool fuck boy. Get it. It's an oxymoron for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, <laughs> joke. Does my hex blades curse only curse her when I interact with her? Or yes. with anybody? Okay. I mean, read the spell or read it to double check, but I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure that's how it, that works. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just me. Cool, cool, cool. And then my other two friends that are back here and just walking up and in to hang out. Okay, we're here. We're doing it. And next up is Orem. Well, I'm going to do my thing and roll under her legs and yeah. pop up behind her, directly opposite from Opal. And uh, he pulls back his sword and looks and is going to try to be more carefully planning it in the small of her back. Okay. And that is a 25 to hit. Whoa. Oh my hey. god. Hey. Yeah, that is. That's hits. my little Nancy. <laughs> Get it, Nancy. Get it, Nancy. Get it, Nancy. That is just a five. <laughs> five to, oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not to damage. It's just to. Oh, it was actually a. 28 to hit. Uh, yeah, okay. Just cause. It hit more than it did before. Yeah, five, five points of damage. <laughs> it's five points. Not a d4. 
Oh, to the damage too? No, to the hit. Yeah, that was to the hit. That was that. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Amazing. Anything else? Uh, one, six plus four. Yeah, I rolled really low. No, that is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Arm, make a wisdom. Just a wisdom check for me. Oh, that's real bad. Uh, a wisdom check, so add my I'll modifier. Let me a saving throw. You can add. Four. You can add your good Same. stuff. Same. Four. Okay. Never mind then. You're good. You feel Four. a little tapped out. Okay. Anything else? No, you no, I'm just going to leave it at that. Gonna leave do you want to do something? No, I nope. I want to stay right here with Opal, so that's it. Okay. All right. Uh, my, my sweet... My sweet girl, her name is Ula. Uh, she looks at you. She's gonna get a shot off on you and then disappear. Oh God. 16 doesn't hit you, does it? Does not. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> she, yeah, you <laughs> knock it away and then she disappears from you. Shit. Murata does? No, oh, uh, okay. the, the oh, archer, the little, little crossbow. Archer. Archer. Little sneaky sneak that she Crossbow B. So we have an invisible ranged person somewhere no, on the she's battlefield. No, not invisible. She's she hiding. appears. Oh, okay. Okay. She's okay. She's popping out of a hole like a gopher. Yep. Got and it. appears across and is actually like a, still a little bit lower than you are, mm -hmm. but has that same like looking out and getting a full view of everything. Got it. Mm. Okay. Oh, also, before I forget, you also add the D4 to saving throws while you're blessed too. Oh, that's mm. right. Oh, that's right. So my wisdom was a I was a five. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Well, with a five. No. Okay, Fern, time. you're up. Okay. Uh, pull this up real quick. So, Mister, it's time to throw some shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up his tail. I'm gonna pull up his tail and I'm gonna have him shoot some uh, flaming seeds at, um, <laughs> at. Uh, <laughs> at, at construct. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wielding your son like a gun. Okay. Uh, point of point <laughs> of fact: mom. Has he switched into his wildfire spirit mode? Oh shit! Okay. Correct. Wildfire spirit mode. There we go. He flares up. Make an Arcana check for me. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, dirty twenty. He is much much bigger. He reminds you of the like fire elemental that he was when you were, when you had to calm him down when you were on top of the ash hole. I've got to stop calling it that. <laughs> no, there's no, 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 no. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. <laughs> so he's bigger and he kind of stands of a height with you and then slowly turns around and assumes the position. All right, who do you want to shoot? <laughs> Who are you shooting Okay, at? the construct. Yeah, okay. No, Go ahead. Let's get him out of the way. Yeah, right I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Take the tail. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scatling gun, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can we give you inspiration? Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> I, did, I, did. I would love it. Thanks. <laughs> Roll the bless. Okay. 16. Hold on. Is, is Mr. Blessed? No, Mister is not. Oh. Just you are. Sorry. Okay, so that was just a Mister. Yeah. Blessed. Uh, I don't have a height. I'm so sorry. Fine. Hashtag oh, thirteen. Uh, a thirteen is going to hit the construct. Great. This okay. One, this bad boy is pretty broken and damaged. Okay, great. So, please kill this guy with the poop. Kill him with the poops. Kill him with the poop. -poo. Kill him with the hoops. Say hello oh, to my little yeah. friend. Kill him with the hoops. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, five points of damage. Nice. Hey. Uh, where was, where were you aiming Mr.'s butt? I was oh. trying to sort of like aim the hole in the trajectory, also taking in, you know, yeah. um, range yeah, yeah. and motion, because yes. math. Wind Good. speed and direction. Wind you know. speed direction. Yeah. Don't forget about velocity. Yeah. Velocity, yeah. <laughs> thinking about all of that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Angry Birds. Um, and trying <laughs> to sort of <laughs> right in the, uh, the eye. Ah. There you go. You remembered the Crystal. Eye. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It hits in the eye and it like hits and burns like napalm. And you see it sort of sizzling into the crack of this thing's like blue, actually shifting more towards purple gem. And he staggers back. Still up. 
but looking incredibly bad. Beagle damage. Beagle damage. All right, that's okay. your bonus action. Okay. So what do you want to do with your action? How close am I to him? Right next to him. Okay. That's ridiculous. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. I never thought I'd be this invested in flaming shit before. It's yeah. hot actually pretty overpowered. <laughs> I want to see the fan art on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm Just gonna try. Sure pretty overpowered. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna awesome. try um, a. I'm gonna take out my moon sickle. Let's go. And I'm gonna try to uh, just take a nice swing. Let's go. Okay. All right. Come on, friend. Let's do this. Okay. Fifteen. Hits. I Great. was gonna remind you of bless, but it hits. Okay. Um, that is a one D for me. Okay. Let me just look at this really quickly. Plus one bonus. No, no, no. Damage roll. Okay. So four points total. This is so close. <laughs> <laughs> you honestly, like, you get in there and you actually cleave three quarters of the crystal away. It, like, cracks and shatters and falls out. And you see that just a little sliver sits in that socket. Oh, and that's on. enough to keep it animated. Oh, so close. God. Okay, okay, that's fine. Do you want to do anything with your movement? Anything else? No, I'm going to stay there. Okay. I'm gonna stay there. I'll stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, my last little bad boy in the corner. What's my biggest threat right now? Yeah, he's gonna see you. Fiery, winged in the sky. And he's gonna... <laughs> what? I'm like a target or something? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna aim a firebolt at you. What? Well, he's not gonna do it. Natural one's not gonna do yeah. it. Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> and I think like the firebolts, like these little motes of light, go up and they hit you in the wings, and the wings just sort of absor absorb them and glow brighter for it. He was trying to knock you out of the sky, and it did nothing. What now? I'm just. I'm. I'm so into this moment. <laughs> he <laughs> swears in Elvish, <laughs> and moves on with his day. I swear right. back in Dwarvish. What do you say? Yeah, dwarvish. I'm like, he knows dwarvish, right? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> he would be the one dwarf that doesn't know dwarvish. I know, I know. Like, okay. Grumdak Barnast! Yeah. What did you call me? Nothing. <laughs> okay, I need everyone but Dariax to make a dexterity saving. No, uh, I'll call it strength or dex to keep your footing as the ground below you begins to rumble. Murata's hand is out, her eyes are aglow, and she is focused you on the center. What did you, sorry, do you, what, what? Strength, strength or, or dexterity. Okay. Thanks for cutting me off during my cool <gasps> description. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, did anyone roll below a 14? I rolled 14. Meets it, beats it. Okay. 14. Good job, you broke the 13 curve. I mean, not by much. Okay. <laughs> well, then let's begin Take the it. fun. What's that? What? What, what are you? What's that? that? Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! Like oh, oh, that's ugly. The ground erupts. Oh, oh no. what? Oh no. oh no! Is this when I'm discovering that I have like a yam phobia or something? <laughs> 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 yeah, like weird yams. It's more like a sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, sweet potato. Yeah. <laughs> As like these what? massive like pseudopods of dirt and earth and old ruins hidden under the ground, being held together by that miasma from both above and below, reach up, starting to build something strange. Opal, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. That's so cool. What the heck is really going cool. on? Oh. Uh, 13. 13. You hear the screaming stop. Yeah, it's no longer inside you. And then you hear it from farther away. And your eyes travel to the center of the plinth. To the center of what? And the plinth, it's broken. 
And I see her? You see yuckiness. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. All right. Dariax, you're up. Dorian, you're on deck. This is fine. I'm going to kill you all. <laughs> Noted. Uh, that right? So, uh, from above, can I still see where this Murata individual is? Yeah, and I'm going to say, like, you're floating at, like, the top of the pseudopod's height. Yeah, I'm like, ha! Huh? Like, yeah. tickling my feet. I'm kicking him off! 100%. Just get him away! Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw you up there. So, right. yeah. Yes to your question. All right, all right. Um, do I still feel that 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 gravity shifting lighter heavy choice? I do. All right. I'm gonna go. How about you here? All right. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna think I'm gonna think like I'm real heavy, and I'm gonna go ahead and with the wings up go into another dive straight towards Murata. Spear out just like. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh, amazing! Take care of that That's bitch. Plan. Make an attack roll. I will. I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> smart, smart. Much better. Uh, there'll be a 14. A 14. You drive through and you feel your spear as it sort of finds purchase at the center of her, and then you feel. Give too much give, and she disappears. He's not here. Shit. She disappears from view. Do you like pull back up again? I pull back up best if I can. Gonna be, uh, New wings. Yeah, no, you're. Uh, I'm gonna say you're not quite in melee range, and not like a caster. He's like, ah, get away. Mm. He'll swat ineffectually at you as you like pull back up again. Uh, Opal, you no longer feel any pressure on your wrist. Okay. You just have that like heaviness on top of yeah. you. That's my turn. Okay. Dorian. I'm still face to face with our construct. Yep. And he looks fucked up. Yep. All right. So fucked up. Uh, cool. Uh, I think it's still attached. I'm gonna pull up my uh, my scimitar and uh, take, a, take a swing at him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do it. Get him. Get him. Ooh. Uh, 17. 17 hits. Cool. Do not have to roll the damage on this because I know how dice work. <laughs> Just describe how you finish this run. Yeah! 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 <laughs> uh, so he pulls out his scimitar and he sees that little shimmering piece left in his eye socket. And maybe with just a little too much flair, he does a couple of swings around and instead of slashing, which you would expect with a scimitar, he just takes the tip and sticks it right under the eyelid and the last little piece of eye and just goes, Pink. Yes! Yeah. Amazing. And your eyes follow that little shard as it darkens and goes inert. And you just hear, you don't even see it as this construct collapses in on itself and reduces itself to rubble in front of you. Nicely done. I see you've been studying your Agrippa. Left handed. So he's murder dead now. He's murder dead. Um, ugh. I'm gonna use, oh, you're not in the sky anymore. You just, you're. I pulled up a little bit. I don't know how, how much more movement I would have had from there. Not much probably, right? I forgot where I put you. You said it was like right. a 90? Uh, I'll say that you're probably about 15 feet over. That sounds about right, yeah. 90 foot. Yeah, you did like Speeds. a pretty big dive bomb, and yeah. you've about 15 up. feet up in the air, right around where you guys are, or a oh, little bit past okay. you. Oh, there you are. Okay, uh, I'll Aren't use my, here? I'll use my wing boots to make cover the rest of that distance and sort of hover up next to Dariax for my movement. And we'll then, use imagination because I forgot to grab the things. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, and then, um, and then, you didn't cast bless on yourself, right? You can't, you can't do that. No, no, no. I mean I could, but I, I, I had other focuses. Uh, oh, all right, I, I'll. Uh, I'll tap him on the shoulder and be like, nice try, buddy, and I'll give you my bardic inspiration for my bonus action. Oh, I appreciate that, bud. Thanks for coming to my. Cool. Y'all are cute as hell. Inspiration. Okay, yeah, Opal, you're up. Actually, no. Interrupting. Yeah, I think you're, uh, or did he die? Oh yeah, buddy's dead. Oh, buddy's dead. But I've got, I've got legendary actions. Uh, no. Yeah, you can't even make a save against this because you're still stuck. No. <laughs> Two more of those little needles land just in the center of your thighs. You feel that tether again, and 
you follow it. I'm not gonna make you roll for it. You follow it and you feel it tethering you to this, whatever this is. So it wants me to go there. Uh, it's a stronger connection between you and whatever this is. Okay. Um, is it my turn? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Can I, <laughs> uh, is this tether uh, broken by Misty Step? Uh, the tether won't be broken by a Misty Step. But I'll allow that you can move. I can move? Mm-hmm. Okay, again, stupid. But uh, stupid. I think she's gonna, I think Opal is now just Do focused on Ted. Less? No, but that's a bonus action. Mm-hmm, but it's a spell. Oh, I don't have spell slots, mm. so I can't use it. Okay, well then I'll just use, I can I just, uh, if I dash, is that twice my movement? Uh, you need to get up first. Okay, can I get up? So I would say, yeah, let's use your action to like try to get up. Make okay. an athletics try check for up. me. If it's a 14, I'm gonna fucking piss my pants. If it's a 14, <laughs> I will scream is that athletics? Yeah. No. No. It's a, it, it's an 11, but I'm pissed off about it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it'd been a 13. Is there anything you wanna do about it? I do have inspiration. Well, what else can I do? Mostly that. Oh. I'm just trying not to be like, bro. <clears throat> can't give you, a, like, it, it doesn't stack, so I can't okay, give worse. you more. It's until... worse, so yeah. What do you mean? You add that to what you had. Oh, I add it? Yeah. I thought it was just a reroll. Wait, well, it wasn't Bardic Inspiration. That's that's the inspiration, just the reroll. Ability. Oh, it's a reroll? Yeah, yeah I got, it's just I, a reroll. I got, oh, oh, oh. I, got I thought you were being cheeky. I, I got the Bardic cutting. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's so. I'll keep the twelve. Or what did How I say? Eleven. Badly, 11? do you want to stand up right Very now? Very badly. What? Very badly. The most. Badly. The most badly. Make a charisma saving throw for me. Is that? Am I adding something different in a saving throw? Uh, other yeah. Than the point. You your saves are like in the upper left corner. Upper left. Upper left. Upper left. 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 It should ah. be much higher. Oh yeah. Well, fucking finally. Okay, so that's a twenty-three. Thanks. With a twenty-three. You are just, you're running on fumes. You don't know what's happening. You feel something beginning to be torn away from you. And you reach out. You reach out for your sister. But what grabs your hand isn't your sister. It's not even a hand. You feel a little leg wrapping around and hear a voice. Oh, sweet girl. You out of out of options? Can I call out to someone? There's only you and me here right now. But I can help. Derek! <laughs> <laughs> you are inside your head. You're just yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, and you see like a little spider leg like clearing an ear. <clears throat> okay. Is that out of your system now? What do you want? I'm, I know you want your sister. I know you want my sister, bitch. But you can't have her. So what else do you want? I don't want your sister? Who do you want? I want you to wear my vestige. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I said. Spider okay, what do I get for wearing it? What do I get? Uh, maybe the ability to be less fucking useless right now. Okay, but what does that mean? You are very off-putting. I know. I like, I like that about you. Great. What does it mean? Does it mean my sister gets to live? Oh. I can't interfere with what's happening there, but I'll give you all your spell slots back. I'll give you all of your health back so that you can decide what happens here instead of being a victim. Again, all you have to do is go put on the circlet. Or you can wait here. How do I do that? I need Dariox for that, right? Well, you've been yelling for him thus far. So make far. him come here then and see what happens. He doesn't like to listen to me. Okay, so let me talk to him. Okay. And you feel that retreat from like your mind. Darius! <laughs> yeah? Can you come get me? Ah, uh, just a second. I was holding the spear back to back with Dorian. I'm like, I'm working on it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where am I in relation to him, just for my own knowledge? Uh, he's about 15 feet over your head. But over my head. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Like, him and Dorian are kind of looking down at you right okay. now. Okay. Um, 
so anything can you attempt anything with I a bonus can't. action? No, that was uh Missy Step is my only bonus a bonus action other than Hexblade's curse. Right, but you are out of spell slots, right. yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, and that's the end of your turn. Yep. Uh Murata is up. She stays obscured from your vision. Oh, also, you're yelling out. He doesn't see, no one sees you. You're right, still right. invisible. Yeah. Just as a reminder. Okay. Cool. Uh, and you hear a voice from near wherever this like pile of pseudopods is. And it laughs and goes, oh, it's already beginning. Good. What a fine patron she'll be. And she's going to turn. Uh, you don't see anything, but you see bolts of dark black and purple arcane energy, eldritch blasts aimed for both of my flyers. Oh, okay. Uh, does a 17 hit? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And does a 15 hit you? Just hits me. Okay, cool. I love this. Okay. Uh, you're going to take five points of force damage. And you take seven points of force damage. Oh, poof. <clears throat> All right. And Murata remains hidden from view. And that's the end of her turn. Orem, you're up. Okay, so in like two seconds, Orem like whips his head around, looks. He just heard Opal screaming somewhere. Doesn't see Murata anymore, and there's a ton of mystical fuckery all around him that he can't help with. <laughs> so he does see the elf with a crossbow on top of that column, and he just starts sprinting towards the stone ring. I will remind you that there's also a magical elf like right in front of you. Right in front of me? Like mm -hmm. 10 feet away from you. Uh, he's doing his best to not be perceived, but he's not hiding, he's just like. Yeah, but nobody's dealing with that shit up on the column, so I'm still sprinting towards the stone ring, and as soon as he comes in contact with it, he's gonna use his boots and leap and just sort of pinwheel his arms and legs through the air and try to latch onto the side of the column like a monkey and skitter up the side of it. Amazing. Okay, as you go to attempt this, uh, give me another wisdom saving throw. Natural 20. How badly do you want this to happen? It's gotta happen, it's the only thing I can do to help right now. And you don't even realize that every step you take the, the, the distance under your feet increases and increases, and you don't feel like you're straining to the very like edge of your ability. You don't have to roll anything else here as you manage to jump across, clearing this map, landing. Oh, oh goodbye. <laughs> as Deriax just dies. <laughs> landing, you... launching yourself off of that shattered plinth, landing on the column, ready to go. And you feel yourself internally that wellspring is so much wider than it was before. You have all of your superiority dice, and please take one additional maneuver. As the road continues to stretch out and away far from you, and you have a taste of the fighter that you could be someday. Fuck him up, Aura. That was your movement. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so all my movement is gone, correct? Yeah, I, that feels generous, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, 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 absolutely. And I'm like 10 feet away from Oh, her. I'm just not putting you at a Dutch angle. You can be on the top of the thing. Oh, okay. Then uh, the, I had, before he started running, he stuck his blade in and started running. And as he's landing, since he feels like Superman right now, as he lands, he just pulls it out and it spins. And he's going to slide to the right and then come back to the left and aim for her crossbow and try to knock the fuck out of her hand. Yes. Let's go! Yes. yes! Please do. Add a d4? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you took damage. Did you I roll did. it? I did. I rolled it. Ah, beans! Yep, that's 15. I'll get you. Don't you worry. I know you will. Don't worry. Also, Me and my one hit point left. Yeah. Also, someone else has bardic inspiration. I've got two marks off and I can't remember who I gave it to last game. Ooh, ooh. I think it was me as well. I, Fuck! Uh, sorry. Uh, 26 to hit. Yeah, it hits, friend. I'm not gonna kill my good archer. It's gonna be okay, Ooh, like, it's gonna be fine. Plus four, seven, plus the superiority die. 14 points of damage, and yeah. she has to um, beat a strength, make a strength save and beat 14. Okay, okay. 
doesn't make it. She doesn't make it. Okay, so he spins, slides to the right, and then brings it right down on her wrist, holding it. Oh. Cutting her along the arm and knocking her arm down, and the crossbow slams to the stone column and then just disappears into the jungle below. Amazing. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Cool, cool. Anything with your bonus action? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good. Vibes, thanks. He'll spin his blade in his hand a second time. He just for cool. clash yeah. and flare. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, uh, so she's cool. up. So is she pinned down by her? Or no, you no, pulled it out just to like, disarmed. take it back. OK. Uh, she kind of looks at her ranged weapon and then shrugs, because she wouldn't have been able to fire it effectively anyway in her hands, uh, one of which is just pouring off blood. Reach for the holsters at her side as she pulls out two knives. Mm-hmm. And it's going to attack you. Jesus. Does a 20 hit? It does. And the other one doesn't. So uh, the bloodied hand faints out and misses, and then she lands with the other one, burying her chest kind of uh, just be like on the other side of your collarbone. You're gonna take, oh no. You take seven points of piercing damage, and she <laughs> leaves the blade in, and is just leaning on you. Oh, shit. That's nasty. Yeah. All right, uh, that's her. That's unfortunate. Fern, you're up. Okay. Um, I am going to sort of over my shoulder see the caster, um, and I am going to bamf into wild shape. Yes. Oh. Into a big old, big old dire wolf. Oh, yeah. Um, oops. Come on. Oh, no, I left it. Let me go to my dire wolf settings. Uh, and I'm just gonna, as I turn, I'm just starting to make the change and then just start leaping towards him. Heck yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna take a, take a big old bite. Do a big bite. Natural oh. 20. Yes. Whoa, yeah! Let's Shut go! Up. Let's go! Yeah. Natural Get it. 20. Like Come on. See. Okay, we mm. love so this. here we go. Let me do my human teeth dice. <laughs> Oh. I hate hearing about them every time. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, not the outfit you want a nervous sweat in, but I am. <laughs> okay, I actually oh, rolled pretty, I rolled pretty, I only rolled four with them. So, okay. hmm. so four, eight, uh, plus three, so 11 points of damage. Hmm. Sweet. Is this a bite? What kind of attack is this? Break me off some flavor. Okay, so what just happened to my well, my, my hungry guy? Uh, it's a throat bite. I think it's it's Fern always goes for the kill. So I think it's just as she's just running, it's just taking the bite up to the oh, to the nice. throat because I would love to just knock him prone if I could. Uh, that I love might be that. a lot. Go ahead and make a make an athletics check, and I'll make a strength saving throw to resist it. Okay. Weak um, you have to beat a six. <laughs> uh, well, I rolled a natural fifteen. So yeah, you're good. That's probably gonna work. You're absolutely a- able to like, as you mm. bite your massive paws that are the size of like his pecs, just slam him down into the ground, and you're on his throat. Great. Okay. Um, and then now it's um. Wha- um. Uh, some, Mister. Wow. Yes. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> My brain. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna have him sort of come around, Mister. To where? Um, to where I'm at, sort of flanking. With, okay. Um, uh, can he move as far as you can in direwolf form? Let's see. What is? What is Mister's moving speed? Did I write it down? I didn't. <laughs> That is a very good question. I don't know what the movement is. Okay, here it is. Um, da, 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 da. Sorry, sorry. 30 feet. Okay. Uh, that'll get him. He's going to be a little bit shy. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'll come right here. Okay, if that's. One second. Six. This is. So, 
Is he within 10 feet yeah. of him? Okay, yes. great. So um, our caster would have to make a deck saving throw of 13 oh. or take 2d6 fire damage. Oh, it's going to be very easy for him to make that deck save in that Probably. he is grappled. Doesn't make it. Okay. Do Trying to come up for a I was like, is there some way There's I can like, be something? No, I just. Mm. Okay. It's just an 11. 2d6. My god, they really are two. They really are so small. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is seven points of damage. Amazing. Nice. Um, and and then, you hear the caster like gurgling something. He tries to make a retort, but like it's just sending fresh waves of hot blood into your mouth. Awesome. You don't understand. Great. Just trying to take that casting voice away. Yep. Um, and I'll just stay there. Shoulder blades out, just growling. Yeah. I'm just looking it. around, trying to keep him there. Love and it. Mr's done. Okay. Yep. Um, let's see. The four he's not going to be able to make. He can't spell cast on this round. Uh, oh, he's going to pull out. He's grappled with you. So he just sort of grabs onto like the chat, like the chest fur of you, trying to scrabble around for enough purchase, and it's going to pull out a knife and attempt to bury it into your big old hide. Let's go. Okay. Does an 18 hit your dire wolf for? Yes, it does. Okay, okay. Okay, four points Got it. of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Mm. Okay. Okay. Dirty 20. You feel something. The, the stab of pain is there, but then you feel something extra as it begins to move through you. Mm. A poison that hasn't taken effect yet, but it's not gone. And in your heightened state, this adrenaline, this aggression, the excitement of fresh blood and being so close to another kill, it speeds up your heartbeat and you feel it beginning to move through your veins, but there is no deleterious effect yet. Okay. Okay. Right. End of the round. Let's see. Yeah, the pseudopod's too far away. You all hear laughter and it's moved from on top of like the central section and it's now over here. That's all she does? No, it's not. She's gonna send off one more Eldritch Blast. But she's going to aim it. Yeah, she's gonna aim it at the dire wolf. Okay. She sees you very close to killing her friend in 19. Hits. for eight points of force damage. Got it. Okay. And once again, if you are, if your feet are on the ground, I need you to make a dexterity or strength saving throw as the ground begins to rumble again, as she begins to cackle almost triumphantly. Do you add a d4 as well? Do you get the d4 on that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I gotta get you out of the sky. This is... no, that's fine, don't worry next about round, it. Next round, next round. 18 total. 18? Natural 20 plus three. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Nice. 19. You're fine. Oh, you didn't have to roll it. You're not on the ground, are you? Oh, yeah. no, we're in the air. Yeah. Uh, I rolled it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so nice up here. Yeah. You're fine. You're already on the ground, so there was no knocking you prone. Right. Mm. So you just kind of like jingled well, it. I thought I got out of that. <laughs> I couldn't move. Did I move? No, that's I don't think she, got, she caught me back. Okay. Uh, yeah. You still have to finish your uh, exchange with Dariax before. Yeah. All of that hits as. Oh, God. It shifts. What? Oh. What? It comes a little different. Oh, no. God. What? Oh, God. No. Oh, God. what? It's a face. <laughs> Wait, what? And you all see that the beginnings of a face. No. <laughs> oh, my appear. God. That is terrifying. On the head. I hate it. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we'll do this one now, too. It feels good. And the pseudopod takes off, uh, takes on a more concrete appearance. <sighs> 
Oh. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh that's so... I don't Whoa. like it. Oh, no. <laughs> Inside, it's I once hand. bought a stool that sort of looked like that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not as grotesque, hand. but yeah. like a hand. Mm-hmm. Hey, Hi. guys, I'm a god. Hi. Just here to fight you. Oh. 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 We yeah. see her now? Well, you see her, she reappears. Hard, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Cackling. She thinks she is she so she close cute. to winning. Uh, she is cute. This is dope as shit. This is fucking cool. You can't tell oh me God. differently. I hate it. <clears throat> All right, Dariax, you're up. Dorian, you're on deck. All right. After being blasted with the Elders Blast, I spin around. Dorian, you got this? Just blood pouring down my face. Um. <laughs> I don't think that we do. Have you seen what's going on? What? Oh, shit. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Cure Wounds on myself. Because <laughs> I'm in a bad place. Yeah. Um, four. Yes, okay. Eight points. Okay. All right. Uh, and then, like, all right. Hope I'm coming. I'm going to dart down and poof, land right in the dirt next to you. Just poof, a little bit of impact. What do you need? Can I just, can I pull my hand out? What part of you, it's hard for you to move or are you just not interacting with as a human? <laughs> it's wild. Pull me up. And then, and then I'm going to take my ring off momentarily so he can see me, put it back on. Yeah, I don't see you. I'm just yeah. like. Yeah, why not? What if I take my ring off? Oh, you, you take oh yeah, I took it off and then I put it back on just so you see me. Wait, so what do you, you I do that while you're laying me. down? Yeah. She can still move her hands. Make an athletics check to see if you can <laughs> interact with your own hands. Oh, man. Yeah, I will leave you leveled in this fight. I need you invisible. Care. Ooh, 17. All right, you can yeah. take off your ring. <laughs> Finally, thank you. Yeah. Uh, she takes off the ring, pull, puts it back on. Can you pick Can you pick me up? Uh, I, I can start to, sure. I'll go wherever you go, just pick me up. All right, I, I begin the process of doing since I already did my action to heal yeah. myself and my movement. I, I'm right now just kind of reaching out in the space to be like, uh, I apologize. Stop trying to get fresh. Okay, there we go. There we go. I, I got the, the the waste a bit. You can get fresh. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, we could die any minute. Yeah. So. Fine. I don't want to die a virgin. <laughs> Amazing. That's that's my. At the moment, you make physical contact with Opal. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Checks out. Shit, I'm sorry. That's fine. Oh wow. Uh, natural 19. So 18. You hear like the skittering of legs, and then it gets drowned out, not by a sound, but by light. And your attention sort of gets drawn back up to the light around you that's like beginning to tint the very edges of your wings with like a little purple, a little blue. And you feel very much at home and one with whatever this miasma is, even though it is actively being concentrated into whatever this is right now, you can still reach out and grab it. Okay. If there's anything you want to do, now it's uh, time to do it. Sure, yeah, I guess if, if, if I'm feeling the, the energy drawing my attention towards it, I'm going to try and kind of extend my will towards it and be like, hey, any help I can get? What most do you want to be able to do? What, what does Dariax want most right now? Right now, to help Opal. Okay. Okay. Dariax, you are now under the effect of the haste spell. Oh, Ooh. shit. Mm. No. It's good. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's going to stack with the wings horribly. This is cool, it, Matt. Cool, cool, Now it's your turn. I, become, <laughs> I am become Vax. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was doing. Just doubled just 90, right 90 feet of movement, baby. Yeah. Nice. Cool, Damn. Cool, cool, cool. This is fine. It doesn't break my encounter you know at that, all. It was no, a no, natural no. 20. You know, you know that scene in Advent Children where Cloud goes into his like Neo Omni Slash and you see Sephiroth going. <laughs> Yep. That's going to be Dariax. Uh, well, it would be until I hit zero hit points next round anyway. Yeah, so continue. Yeah, yeah. That's the end of my turn. Oh boy. Vibes. Beautiful. Okay, Dorian, you're up. Mm-hmm. There's so much going on. So much. There's so much going on. Do, we, don't, we don't have any more Heidi's, do we? Or is our main baddie hidden somewhere? 
Oh, you can uh, you can okay. actually see Murata is in this massive hand. So all of our enemies are now visible. They are all visible. Engage with Orm in the hand and then... Corner. Uh, Mage in the corner being actively devoured and a disarmed uh, <laughs> you. crossbow you archer. Oh, man. Currently, like, pressing in on Orm. I'll finish him. Oh, man. I will absolutely finish him off. What do you want to do? <sighs> Fuck. I'm going to... I'm going to fly down to, uh, to Dariax and see what's going on over here with the squad. Okay. So I'll, I'll land with him. Let me get over there. Oh, I'll put Dariax back on the field. <clears throat> I kept knocking him down. That's yeah, fine. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and then... Um, oh, good. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as you get within range. Duty poo poo seven. Oh, beautiful. Duty poo poo plus four. <laughs> uh, oh, ten. Nice. Ten. 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 <laughs> ten. Ten. And you get within range and you feel like as your body passes through some sort of event horizon as you get closer to Dariax, it begins to go cold. Mm. And you, he- you feel your stomach begin to drop as that voice comes back to you. It says, it's not looking very good, is it? You're going to die here. You're all going to die here. I think you underestimate my friends. I think you overestimate them. I guess we'll see. A real leader would do what was required of him to ensure success. And I'm so very close. You could just reach out and grab me. Fuck off. Get I'm forward. going to shut this down. All right. Nice. <clears throat> and um, can I see the residuum sticking out of Opal's body? You can. Uh, I'll use my action to try and uh, pull the spikes out of her Face. She's got two in her face, I think. She's got one in her face, two in her sh- like one in each shoulder and one in each thigh. Fuck. Yeah. Can I try and get them all with one action? You can, where do you start? We'll start there. We'll start in her head. All right. Yeah, and just work my way down. You go just... to reach, mm-hmm. and the moment you make physical contact with it, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. Ooh. Fuck, why am I so stupid? Uh, You're not a wizard. Nine. Not a d4. Uh, oh wait, no, I have one. I'm sorry, that was ten plus D four. Ooh, come on, come on, bless. Did you good? Four, four, yes. yes! <laughs> you take two points of psychic damage, oh, but you can pull the spike free. Thank you. Just the one on her head. You can try again. I'm saying that this is all happening within an action. But you wait, get to did roll. that stay in there? No, it came out. It came out. It came free. Mm-hmm. Opal. Take one point of psychic damage as you feel, even as your body gets lighter, the connection between you and Ted is being ripped away. Next one, which one do you reach for? What does she, do I? Can I speak to him? Yeah, when I see this happen. Yeah, I'll let that happen. Are you all right, Opal? Yeah, but don't do it again. I can't, I, I, I can't feel Ted as much. I'm sorry. Don't? Thank you. You sure? Yeah. He'll be stuck here. I know. I'd kiss you, but I'm invisible. Are you, wait, hold on. Were you invisible? No, no, I took Again, because then <laughs> what was you reaching for? I took my ring off so, so right. you could see me. I'm oh. assuming you just sort of unscrewed it so yeah. you can just push it back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, what a line. Kill the invisible and be like, ah, you know, if I just weren't invisible. You, <laughs> you were still, you. never mind. <laughs> you, really, yeah, I'm just uh, so invisible. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, um, I will honor her wishes and. Um, yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. I'll relegate that to a bonus action if there's anything else you want to do. No, but I will use my bonus action to take a he- to take a healing potion. Oh, okay, that's fine. Is that the end of your turn? 
Uh, two D four. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it for you me. Just pour out the potion if you want. What? Oh, I could do the thing. Yeah, you do. You, the thing. I could really tell you were like, I made those, please do it. <laughs> look, look, I, I made them, then we had a pandemic, and so nobody uses them, so I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can literally pour them out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So How cute. Fun. Oh, I can't, I can't tell. The one at the top. One at the top. But there is no top. Will there be whatever's oh, bottom? Oh, that might be the bottom end. Really oh, it's the bottom. Yeah. Uh, four. Well, the opposite of what I said. Plus Beautiful. Two. Plus two? Four, total. <laughs> okay, so you take back four points of healing. Mm -hmm. okay. Cool. Which is just in time as Murata looks over and says, Don't touch her! Shit! And is gonna fire two Eldritch Blasts at you. Fuck, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. 16. Yep. And an 8. No. Alright, alright. No, that's an 8. I have to hit you with a 10 or it doesn't count. For 9 points of force damage. I did what you wanted. Oh my god. No! And you watch as out. you hear her scream. And as Dorian is holding that single piece of residuum, looks up at her and then down at you as like purple black energy connects with his chest, pulses through him, and he falls back. Wait, I have pool of healing. Uh-huh. Is it your turn right now? No. Cool. But I can use it on my turn? Yeah. Okay. All right. You fall unconscious. Oh, well, it's your turn. Okay. Um, that was fast. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I'm gonna put the ring back on so I'm invisible again. And I would like to see if I could connect with Ted at any point, like psychically. Okay. So putting the ring back on mm -hmm. has to be an action or a bonus action. Trying to commute, commune with Ted has to be an action or a bonus action. Okay, how far is Murata from me? I measured this out earlier so I would remember. About 100 feet. Okay, I'm really stupid. You're not stupid. Uh, I'm just creating the problem of you have to decide what you do. I know. No, I'm like, Opal is... You're brilliant. This is great. She's No, I'm saying like she's about to do something fucking dumb. So what do you um, do? I would like to use my action to Eldritch Blast uh, Murata, who is currently under Hexblade's curse. Yep. So So that's just an additional damage that you do to her. Yeah. Cool. But just reminding everyone. Assuming you hit. Absolutely. I know. I know. Oh, I'm not using my reactions enough. No, it doesn't work. She's not close enough. Never mind. 17. 17 misses. Okay. So that is my, what is that? My action? Mm -hmm. I guess my bonus action would then be to put the ring back on. Okay. And you were lifted to standing by Dorian, so mm -hmm. you have access to your movement. Okay. I'm gonna oh. say uh, you are still very heavy because you've got four of these in you. Yeah. So your movement is halved. Okay. But you can move around. Oh fuck. I didn't use my pool of healing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Can I reverse that? And not put the ring back on. And use my pool of healing to help. It's just so stupid. To help Dorian. Roll a d20. Just roll a d20 for me. Where's the spider bitch? Get, have her come back. I want to negotiate. <laughs> She's been waiting. Actually, you know what? No, because you didn't do what she asked. I don't care about the d20. I mean, you made she, your I didn't have a Ooh. chance. I just Ooh. got. No, you were in his hands and you didn't ask for the circlet. You made your choice. Okay. So Ooh. what do I do now? Nothing. You're done unless you use your movement. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologize. To him. Oh, yeah, you should apologize I, I, to him. I can't hear you, I'm unconscious. Uh, <laughs> you can't hear Dariac screaming, but I am Dorian! Oh, buddy! <laughs> but, but I am invisible, yes? Because I did yeah. finish that movement. Yep. Okay. You are invisible. Or whatever. Okay. 100%. Oh, um, fuck me. Yeah. She's gonna go. Taking that BDSM outfit pretty seriously. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> finale, and if you didn't feel the stakes, <laughs> then what kind of GM would I be? Just right? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna look over her shoulder and look at you, Aurum, Murata, and is gonna send an Eldritch Blast in your direction, too. Okay. 
She misses. And it just sort of skitters and shatters a bit of the... Actually, yeah, let's do that. No. Yeah. No, don't do that. It hits the pillar under you, mm-hmm. and you feel it just lurch a little bit. Uh, you don't have to go anywhere now, but this isn't going to stay a pillar for very long. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's her deeply disappointing turn as she reaches, and uh, you see her lean down, and she puts both of her palms in the center of this massive nightmare of a palm and is channeling energy into whatever this apotheosis is as we go. Orem, you're up. Uh, okay, I'm going to um, rush uh, at the elf that's here and make a pushing attack. Oh, she's like right on you. You don't have to rush her, because remember, she's stabbed into you and is pushing down, so. Yeah, but I'm using uh I mean, you can do whatever you want. I was just. She's on top of me with a. She's what? got a dagger, like, behind oh, your clavicle, holding. and she's pushing down on but am you. But I, am I on the ground? No, 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 no. That's just, just for flavor. You just said rush, and I was yeah. like, oh, you're locked up right now. <laughs> it's cute. So that's a 17 to hit. Hits. Plus B board. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> the, the, the hit. I have to kill. Um, I'm doing a pushing ah! attack, so she's got to make a strength save. Natural two is not going to do it. Okay, so that means she's Can I going. Add less? <laughs> nah. No, not for me. Nah, <laughs> sorry. That's fine. That's fine. You took out Dorian. I'm just. Oh, He's guy. got two bardic inspirations. He could always give you one. <laughs> that would be so nice. So, so here's what happens. She yeah. takes eight points of damage, and because Whoa. she failed, she's going off the edge. Oh. I'm going to use my movement to run after her and jump. And as I'm falling, I pull the dagger out of my own shoulder, oh. and a bonus action will do a another battle maneuver, toss, and throw the dagger at her as I'm falling on top of her. No, so shut up. Cool. Roll this with advantage, because that's incredibly cool. Natural 20. Yeah! Yes! Come on! <laughs> Let's go! What? Uh, okay, so that is... Uh, four, four, six, eight, plus the superiority by... Sixteen. Oh, wait, minus the... 12, double 24, plus four is 28. Did I do that right? Yeah, because of the superiority die, which I rolled an eight out of eight on, so that is a 28 total. Yeah. Whoa. And then I land on her. Look, this is, this is like candy for a DM, but you're also a DM, so you explain to me, how do you want to do this? Yeah. 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 What? (laughs) All right, so the first attack, uh, I just jam it into into her sternum and push her off and she goes and I don't stop moving. I just sail off the end, yank it off and it flips up in my hand and I chuck it. Whoa. And it goes right in, uh, right in at the throat between the collarbone and the throat. And as I land, uh, <sighs> sure, yeah. my heel comes down on it and yes. pins her into the ground. Oh, and then I throat. spring off and land next to her. Wow. That is and fierce. as you stand up, from springing off, you just see the like oh. poof, as the entire like this whole structure lands behind you and sends up a big cloud of like purple colored dust and de- debris and arcane fuckery in the air. That was incredibly cool. That was yeah. really cool. Okay, cool. I'm sweaty. That was very fun. He's our little murder man. Oh, no, that was her turn. <laughs> She's dead though. It's fine. Burn her up. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep chomping. Yeah. Just chomping at at, at this um at this boy oh down here. God. Okay. That is a dirty twenty. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So let's go do these guys. And doesn't your dire wolf form have multi attack? Did I make that up? I don't think so. Okay. Let's see. Vibes. I don't <coughs> think so. What do I know? So. It's whatever the stats for Dire Wolf are. Yeah. yeah. You're good, you're good. Say. Okay. He's not doing okay. great. Uh, eight points of damage. Okay. And, um. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's right. Because you didn't have to roll to hit, you just rolled to, like, get your teeth Closer together. Oh, not very good. That'd be four. It's a f- game. God damn it. <laughs> I get to be the clippy this game. <laughs> yes. Uh, 12. 
With a 12, as you're biting down, you hear it too. The skittering of spider legs. You could finish it. You could finish it right now. You love killing them. Hot, fresh blood. I could help you finish it. Just promise to wear the vestige. It looks so good on you. You know it does. Don't be afraid. You're not like the other ones. Scared and weak. You're strong. Prove it. Just like... <sighs> <laughs> um, deep within your heart, like I'll say here, if you like sort of spiritually commit to this, I'll let you roll the damage dice again, not to replace, to add. Oh, you don't have boy. to. You can feel it, that like little moat of dark possibility. Like, you know when you drink lemonade when you're laughing and you get that little, like, Ooh, that yes, cramp? Yes. You feel what it, it makes that? you reflexively want to bite down, yes. but you can't yet, but you could, if you wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to growl um, and hold where I'm at and not take extra, even though I'm just tasting the blood and it would feel so nice to just finish it. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna do it yet. Okay. Um, now Mr. Yeah. is there still. And he uh, can finish closing the distance. Great, he'll like close the distance away. and. I'm not gonna move him, he's so far away. <laughs> Let's roll for him. Let me pull up his stats mm. real quick. Which one? Let's do this guy. Ooh, that's good. Um, 19. Mm -hmm. 19 hits. Okay, and that is 2d6. Uh, okay, that is eight points of damage. So close. Ooh. He's looking very, very bad, and you can kind of see that, like, or not so much see because you can't really like look down and get a bead on uh, this caster's face, but you feel heaviness and like, the loss of motor control as like the scrabbling is less directed, sloppier, as the life is leaving him. Okay. I'll He's I'll not stay. dead yet. Just that sitting it? there, just trying to keep my eyes on everybody. Um, and that's it. Okay. Uh, I can pull this up. Finally. With what last bit of energy he has, he like leans and you feel more tearing, but something, even though he is doing more damage to himself, something comes free and he can vocalize again. Hands free, mouth open. He swivels around to catch you and you oh. and Dorian. I don't think he can. Now he's not gonna catch, oh no, if Mr. closed the distance, then he's gonna catch Mr. Two. I need all of you to make dexterity saving throws as it begins to get very I cold. I just realized. D4. Uh-huh. What did you realize, my friend? I okay. rolled a um, an attack for Mr., but it's a deck save. Oh, okay. I fucked that up. I mean, it's okay. He doesn't really have okay. that okay. much dexterity. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'll remember that next time. No, it's all good, thank mm. you, though. I appreciate your honesty. Take you your got inspiration it. back if you don't have it. Okay, okay. I don't oh, yeah, think you okay. get one being unconscious. Oh, you're right, good oh, point. Oh, sorry, it's a constitution saving throw, not a dex save. We all make one, right? Constitution yeah. saving throw. Yeah. Okay. My bad. That's a death save for me? I don't know how to switch. Oh, no. Yeah, you just, well, <laughs> well, well, it depends on what it does. Depends on what it does. Um, I'm gonna use that inspiration that you gave me to go ahead and add, okay, that brings it to a 17 for me. You make the save. Can we use the D4 as well for the bus? Yeah, okay. you, I highly recommend it. Uh, 17. You got two though. Sweet. Uh, roll, uh, roll a constitution save for Mr. also. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's a natural five, so I'm sure he's not gonna make that. Oh no. I was gonna get someone, and I'm so glad it was you. <laughs> 
Yeah. We're gonna take. Oh, that's not good. That was a lot of dice. That was a lot of dice. He reaches out weakly. You feel the temperature drop around you. One of his hands clamps onto your muzzle, not trying to free himself from your grasp to hold you there. Here for this as he hits you with a cone of cold. All of you are going to take 14 points okay. of cold damage. I rolled incredibly low on 88. Eight? Yeah, no, that's yeah. like a party we, ripening. We spell. heard the sound. Mm -hmm. well, who, who all is this attack hitting? Uh, that's going to hit uh, Mr. Fern, Darian, Dariax, and Dorian. Dorian, you take two fails of your death. Ooh. Oh, God. You're on, the, you're on the brink, my friend. And I, I take 14 or half with the success? Oh, you su yeah, you have success, so take half. <clears throat> so seven. Yeah. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. But make your con save against your stupid, stupid, perfect bless. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> 20, uh, 19. Golly, <laughs> he's fine. This Can't. is the worst spell that has ever happened to me, and it's a level one nothing! Hey, <laughs> hey, I feel your pain. It's cool, it's cool, it's fine. <laughs> and with that, you feel the last of his strength leave him. He used everything that was left, and it goes limp in your hands. Is your direwolf form still up? Mm-hmm. All right. Still up. Direwolf don't Almost look around. Done. Still Does up. Does not play. Mm. But it all gets worse. I need all of you to once again make a dexterity save or a strength saving throw. Uh, you're gonna make yours with disadvantage because you're very heavy, so it's gonna be hard for you. Actually, you know what? If you make it a strength save, you can roll it normally. If you make it a deck save, you have to roll with disadvantage because you're not that agile right now. Okay. If I make it, oh, well, it's about the same shit, but. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> What's it? You got four? You get knocked prone again and take one more point of bludgeoning damage as your body shoots back. Now, it's a bit of a blessing that you're on the ground because I don't think you want to see what happens here as it changes. Oh, dear. What? Oh, no! Oh, God! Ew, ew, ew! Ew, I like it. I like it less. I would like all of you Hate it. to meet Ted. And that's when we're gonna take our break. What? What? That what? does not look the way I imagined. No. <laughs> she cute though. Ted needs a makeover. That like a some, little bit. That Wait. is some like scary stories to tell in the dark shit. Yeah. Yeah. I am <laughs> into it. Ew. Ralph Steadman style. Yeah. Stay. I am Go. so glad I can't see this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Stay tuned. We'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, oh man. man.
Lucy Adam was born about 9,000 years before our time. In the year 515, after having federated the African continent, she set out to conquer Rome. It was on witnessing the consequences of this terrible battle that she decided to impose upon her people a strictly a vegetarian diet. And it's in 1082, following the unexplained death of the king, that she was crowned Empress of Spain. It's in fact to celebrate this event that uh, rock and roll was invented. In 1789, allied with the valiant Japanese, she discovered the real Indies, which had fallen into the hands of the bloody French. This was followed by the Great Devastation, a 100-year war that Lucy Adam ended before beginning the Great Reconstruction and establishing a lasting peace by banishing all forms of currency and violence, as well as the use of selfie sticks in museums. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy, are you with us? OK, so for next week, don't forget your essay on the cultural stereotypes of the great civilizations that have marked history. How far will you push humankind? Critters, Laura Bailey here. Let's see what's up in the Critical Role shop. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. I mean, seriously. Look at this thing. So click on over to the Critical Role shop. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a few more minutes in the break. You still got time.
Welcome back. We are in the middle of what I like to call an apotheosister. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I'm gonna write that down. You, see, <laughs> you see before you, all of you, with the exception of one of you who's about to have a real bad day, the form, once again, made of churned earth and rubble and stone and plant matter, your sister, Ted, being summoned, pulled, ripped from you by Murata and brought into the world by what I think you all have figured out now is as a warlock patron, but not just for you. Greedy girl. There's enough Ted here for everybody. And we're back up at the top of initiative. Dariax, you're up. All right. Uh... Still finishing my like long, Yen! <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> Six, as yeah. Let me not do it because you're having a nap. I can't hear. Yeah. I go, no, uh, and I kind of wing still out, just kind of sort of short burst rush towards him. I have one spell slot period left. I'm gonna go ahead and cast cure wounds yes. on him. Yes. <sighs> yes. So you heal five hit points, back to consciousness. Not a lot. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. As you come back, let's cut over to that. Dorian, you are in a dark liminal space, a place between places. If you, if you could see inside Opal's mind across the weeks you've been together, you would know that this place is altogether very familiar to her, but she's not here now. It's just you in the dark, alone, waiting for something to happen. What are you thinking about in this moment? Hmm. Strangely, uh, at peace, it sort of feels like, I feel like, um, it was nice for this sort of to not be my choice and to hand over the the reins of my destiny to someone else because I feel like I've been clinging so tightly to that for this whole journey. Oddly calm. Okay. And give me a wisdom saving throw with advantage. <clears throat> All right. Twelve. No, he's dead. No bless. Yeah, the bless probably fades. Unbless. Yeah, unbless. Oh, welcome to the club. Twelveski. You know what's coming. You know what she's going to say. And even in this moment of peace, you can't quite keep the Spider Queen at bay. You don't see her, but you have a sense of eyes, dozens, hundreds watching you. And you feel the closeness, that almost stickiness of web surrounding you, but not touching you, not quite yet. And I told you, I told you this would happen. Why do you deny me? I don't want you to hurt my friends. So, so you would hold back power, power to save them, power to choose, because you don't trust yourself with it? No. If I knew I could save them, I would do anything. and you feel those dozens, hundreds of eyes flit in a direction. And you hear the sort of straining and growing, groaning as like exoskeleton moves against itself as this tremendous thing shrinks back, back against a light that you can't quite see. And you hear her laugh low and calm. Well, 
You still have a chance to put that to the test. And you just hear a little shh as you are brought back to consciousness. Dorian, <laughs> Dorian, buddy. Hey, mm. hey, mm. you okay? No. You trust me? Yes. And I grabbed the front of his cloak uh, and hasted. It's 180 feet of movement. Oh, God. But carrying another body, minutes. does that slow half my movement? Like, what, how do, yeah, how do let's that? do that oh, so it's no. slightly sorry. harder. Okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Please okay, take how... inspiration for nerfing yourself a little bit because this is insane. Because <laughs> I've made you a god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on this. Um, how far away is uh, Murata from 100 feet. 100 feet? All right, I'll go like. All right, buddy, hang on, and I'm gonna go ahead and coast for about 70 feet of it, just low to the ground, just holding Dorian about five, like. Wait, you're holding me! Uh, I'll let you go. Oh, you let me go, fuck. Yeah. You're standing. I didn't, I, I forgot you and he fell. Oh, buddy! <laughs> Look, I got a very one-track mind here. I get it, I get it, I get it. If you show a bright color to me, I'm Roman. like, no, oh, there we go. I get it, I understand, I accept. <laughs> So holding holding the front of your cloak, I kind of lift you a little bit off the ground, like a couple feet, and just try and grind about seventy five feet towards the direction of Murata before dropping him. Yep, I love that. And then take the rest of my movement to head up onto the hand after Murata. Nice. Okay. Oh shit. All right. Uh, I'll say you drop him here, and I'll let you get up here with Murata. That's great for me. <laughs> And so I. That's fun. Going upward and then thinking, because that was my action, but because I'm hasted, I do get a weapon attack. You do. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and think heavy and just coast <sighs> up over the top of that hand and <laughs> spear out towards her. Let's go. Not even joking, natural 20. Oh my God! You can look at that shit yes! right there. It's beautiful. Let's go. All righty. Ah! Uh. Alrighty, so heavy is 2d8, you said it's an extra dice? Yeah. Ooh. Not bad, it's 11 times 2, 22, plus six, it's 28 points of piercing damage. Oh Oof. But you're only at level three, what are you doing? I don't know, extra luck and a few bonuses. <laughs> this is great for me and I'm not stressed. <laughs> <laughs> you like bury your spear into her and in the same way that you like felt that First groan of like contact before she disappeared before. She tries, but is so shocked by like the heaviness and ferocity of this hit that she can't move out of the way and just grabs onto the spear and takes the full damage and is holding on to it. Just staring her face, face. Put her back. No! That's my turn. <laughs> I just want to add that when she yelled no, this very cool mouth also yelled no. Ah! No, I hate that! I hate that! Mm -mm. Yay! Uh, mm -mm. No! That's fun for me. Oh, I think it's time for Ted to make a move. <laughs> Ted's head slowly turns and locks eyes with you, Opal. And those eyes that are dark purple and blue, like the miasma above, flash just a little iridescent for a second before getting colder and darker. And the mouth opens up even wider as smoke heavy rolls down out and pours in your direction. Oh. I need, uh, yeah, I need Mr. Fern and Opal to all make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Add a d4, Fern. Gosh! Darn it! <laughs> Great, okay. This is the clutch spell and it's wild. Okay. Pretty good for level one. It's really good. 19 for Fern. Oh. Made it. 15. Okay, and tag Mr. Doom. Let's see what Mr. does. Let's pull this big up here. Um, yeah, nine. Nine for Mr. Okay. Uh, the two of you made your save, so you only take nine points. <laughs> only. Of poison damage. Mm. But Mr. takes the full 18. 
as he's just, even though he's at a height with you, when he goes quadrupedal, he drops down just low enough that like he's completely lost to this low rolling fog. Mister's out. Oh. So wait, what does that mean? In his wildfire spirit, is he is he dead? You see, it sort of rolls over him, and you can feel the like heavy, cold humidity of it, and it just consumes the fire of him, and reduces him back down to a little Debrazis monkey that reaches out and clings onto your skirts before losing consciousness. Can I talk to Opal? I mean, to Ted, even though it's not my turn. Make an Arcana check. <sighs> Fuck. I'm rolling like shit too. Anything Oof. you can do about it? Do you Is, have inspiration? Yes. No, I used it. How badly? Very badly. The number one thing I want to do. <laughs> you hear the skittering. Once more. How long will you make me wait? I will help. But your opportunity. And you feel your attention pulled towards Dorian. Dariax. A <laughs> hundred feet away. Well, I I had this idea, but it wasn't my turn, that maybe when he dropped me so rudely, I might have grabbed the bag. We'll see on your turn, but okay. as of right now, that is not necessarily <laughs> true. Okay, I'm just we'll saying. We'll cut back that. I'm just saying. Real spicy. It's real spicy, but interesting. It could be interesting. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but you reach out. I'm just out. saying. She was like, oh, 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 no. What do I have here? <laughs> you reach out for Ted. You see her, and you see her seeing you in this moment. But not and just in that form. Okay. Yeah, you kind of see past it okay. towards what's happening here, but you are blocked by the Spider Queen who refuses to move out of your sort of arcane vision, out of your way. Mm -hmm. Do it. And you are incapable of reaching your sister. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dorian. You're up. You two killed. The Are you support. still in your wolf form? Still, yep, two hit points left. All right, all right. I got more. Don't worry about two. it. All right, I'm not worried. Right. But the archer and the caster are both dead, right? The archer and the caster are both dead. The There's just Murata and Ted. <clears throat> I'm not gonna waste. Uh, I'm not gonna waste Dariax's epic save. So the first thing I'm gonna do is. Um, oh, do I have the slots? I'm gonna cast just level one cure wounds on myself. Okay. <clears throat> mm, please be good. <gasps> no. <laughs> one plus two no. equals three. <laughs> hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, cool. Amazing. Cool, 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 cool. No, oh, she's be, This is gonna be a cemetery. Uh, do I do the mean thing? No! <laughs> yes. Oh, she does the mean thing. She sees you reaching out and beginning to cast a spell, and she casts counter spell. <gasps> oh, oh no! Uh -oh. I send my excitement. Yes. <laughs> Do not take that healing back. Damn the spell it. fizzles out in your hands. Well, oh, what was it? Wow. What was it three? It was yeah. three. Okay, let me take that right on back. <laughs> 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 she didn't know it was gonna not be that effective. She thinks it's very cool. Yeah. Uh, man, I am in such bad shape. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop another potion. Yeah. Matt, I love you, but fuck your beautiful little potions. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this yeah. myself. Go. I'm gonna Those roll it fault. myself. Sometimes words can hurt like a fist. Oh, uh, this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna do me, isn't it? Yeah. I'll lay up. Don't worry, I'll kill him for you. Uh, Thanks. Four. Right down the middle again. Didn't matter. You're adding you're adding plus two Are to those rolls, plus right? Two to that? What? It's the D four is plus. It. It's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. yeah, I did that. Oh, I did that last time, but no. Okay, cool. This cool, time cool. I did not. I'm sorry. Six. No, that's very important. We're, uh, yeah, yeah, we're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm back. I'm feeling better. Not quite as fucked up. I don't wanna. I'm gonna use all of my movement to yeah. fly back up to my boy. And, and um, You're gonna be up here really close? What? I'm gonna fly up to. Uh, wow, I don't have anything ranged left. 
No, 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 do it, no, do it. I appear to be in a triangle between the head and uh, and her. I am just going to use all of my movement to go 30 feet straight up in the air, oh. positioning myself at like the peak of a triangle. Love it. No, okay. Yes. Yeah. And then we that's call this it. a Kinera standoff. That's it's it for great. me. Action, mm. action, bonus action, take the potion motion. I'm You're done. great. All right. Opal, you're up. So did you want to try to boost the bag I off mean, of Darius? I mean, what is it gonna cost me? An action! No. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't no. understand. No. I mean, no. yes? Yes? Whatever you wanna do. That's whatever you wanna do! In the story, what do you wanna do in the story? Hyperbolic. Oh man, I wanna save my sister! So in this so, moment, what do you care about more? Saving my sister. Okay. Um, but I do know for a fact my bonus action is to give a hit point to Dorian. The one? Just the one? Yeah. Okay. I was advising that as bringing up from unconscious, oh, like oh, an yeah. EMT. Okay, so let me Smart. think that again. Uh, you're also not within range to give him a okay, hit point. Well, then I'm very sorry, sir. I have tried my best. No, it's fine. One hit point is <laughs> not amazing. Because I thought no. he was still going to be unconscious. You okay, don't have to right. make any more guilt-based choices. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay here's what I Love here's it. what I want to do. I want to talk to Ted, um, and I want to get my spells back. So you have a choice to make. Mm -hmm. You know how to get your spells back. I know. That will take your action. Because that's going to take the action. Can I talk to Ted as a bonus action? No. <laughs> Grabbing, the attempt to grab the crown, yeah. to get the bag off of a flying person that's going 400 rounds of feet me per so second. I could just, like, well, it's quick. It's a quick thing. It's like, a, ooh, no, that's like not your arm. action amount of time. Yeah, agreed. That's we not, both that's agree your on arm. that. That's your back. Yeah. To take it is an action. I'm unprepared. To put it on. And like access those powers is a bonus action. So are you gonna spend your turn powering yourself up or not? What does Opal do? I mean, if I can't talk to Ted, that's all. That's no one all. said you couldn't talk to Ted. Okay, well I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna do that first. Okay. Make a. You are focused on this. This yes. is the thing that you're doing. This is what I want. Roll a charisma saving throw for me with advantage oh. as you finally bring your scattered mind to a single purpose. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Okay. What does it look like as you reach out successfully? Well, to first your sister? I'm like, Ted, what do you do? What do you look like? And second, what are you doing? You ask what she looks like first, it's amazing. What? <laughs> What's happening? She begins to respond, but out loud. You hear the version of her voice, that sort of gentle, a, a, a little scruffy, shy, but very similar to your family's. It reminds you a lot of what you remember of your mother Paloma's voice mm -hmm. in your head, but everyone hears this gaping maw speak with a rumble that shakes the ground beneath you because she is the ground beneath you. And she says, really? What? I'm gonna start with I'm the... sorry, I'm just like, Ooh. our family taught us better, but like wh what? What are you? What are, what's going on? Why are you doing she, this? I am not choosing this. She's been following. She's been watching, and she is pulling me from you. How can I help you? Stop her. I'm already forgetting. I know, I know that the course of my life has been bent to be with you and protect you, but I don't know you. Do you know me? We were born together. You, I am your patron. But you're my sister. 
before that. And even though you all don't hear it, you hear a small hitch of breath, a sigh of remembrance, and then a settling, a groaning as it slips away, as she slips even farther away. Don't go, Ted. What should I do? Tell me what to do. I don't know. Stop it. Or let me go. You've always been the strong one. You've been the sword. I've always been your shield. I can't protect you from this, from her. It hurts. Ugh, fuck. Um, I I want to swipe the bag. Make a. We'll call this a sleight of hand check with disadvantage. And then before you roll, I'm gonna set the DC. The DC is a 14. If you roll a 14 or higher, you grabbed the bag. If you didn't, it's still on Dariax. And he is so far away. I didn't grab the bag. It's a five. You sort of flex your hands reflexively and look at the moment that could have been. And you hear a low moan in the back of your mind as your sister feels that same loss, that opportunity there with you. And you feel the tethers now in your shoulders and your thighs, that they are connected to her still. And it hurts. But it's still there. But you have so much fight left in you. But action economy. All right. But action economy. <laughs> Is there anything you want to do with your movement? Um, where am I right now? Uh, yonder. Oh. Um. Sorry. I guess I will use. I mean, I only have thirty feet, so I'll go towards Murata. Okay. You begin scrabbling over this broken terrain in Murata's direction, and you watch as Ted's eyes, glowing, follow you. Her mouth still open in that rictus of pain. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, God. Now it's Murata's turn, oh, and you're no. so close. Yeah? What of it? <laughs> She's still got the spear buried in her. Ooh. She reaches forward, pulls herself just a little bit onto it so she can grab you and cast spell magic on your wings. Oh. All right. Let me see if this works. It's not really a roll, but I'm just curious. And as she grabs, you feel her nail sort of pinch in on your shoulder. I will take everything away. And your wings shatter, and you watch as like little motes of light dissipate and sort of fall down as a gentle rain around you. And then she's going to attempt to push you off the hand. I want to treat this like a grapple. She's trying to sort of manipulate your body to move you in a direction. Mm-hmm. So please make a strength saving throw. All right. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay. But. <gasps> Natural 20. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Low rolls the whole game! The dice tell a story as she goes. Yes. Once again, pushing herself a little farther onto your spear, so heavy, but she thinks she has you, and she attempts to push. And you don't move. 
and she pushes harder and it's like pushing against a wall and you hear her scream, go! And the mouth of Ted screams in unison and you do not move. I just keep looking back at her and say, don't you know, blood of the mountain in me, bitch. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. Orum, you're up. Fern, you're on deck. Uh, Orum looks, he doesn't see the face yet. He just sees this big roiling mountain of a bulbous shape of stone moving and screaming and a giant <laughs> hand and the dwarf and the woman. Uh -huh. And he just says, magic fucking bullshit. And he reaches down and picks up the dead elf's crossbow and starts running up that column. Smart. That's yeah. laying along the nice. back end of the map. Amazing. I'll get as far up as you think he can get in his movement. Oh. Uh, what's your movement speed? Uh, 30. Uh, are Ooh. you dashing? No. Okay, I'll get you like right on to here. And then he just swings it up. Ugly piece of shit. And it's a plus <laughs> two crossbow. Fires a bolt. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. 15 plus two. 17, 18. We got a D4. 26 to hit. Yes. Whoa. Is it a heavy or light BT heavy. dubs? Hmm? It's a heavy crossbow. Heavy, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. <laughs> vibes, 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 vibes. Four. That's 12 points of damage. Even if I gave her partial cover, that still hits. Yeah. What's the damage? Uh, 12 points of damage. Amazing. And then for my bonus action, he's just going to. Breathe deep, and I will use that bonus action to do um, second wind and get back. Beautiful. Some vigor. Five. And that's it. Donezo. Beautiful. Okay. Um, legendary action. How could she resist? You're right there. And you won't get out of her way. Still holding on to you. Yeah. Three. Does an 18 hit? Uh, armor class 15 plus two with haste, 17. Yes, it does. No. Oh. And she reaches forward and she's still holding on to you, and the other hand grabs and clasps you tighter and you feel that initial pinch of her nails and then something deeper as her eyes turn black and veins appear from under flowing into you and you hear in her voice a language that you've only seen written that glyphic rain uh, language older than the gods in this place she has channeled it channeled it and is summoning all of that strength into you to cast Inflict Wounds. And you understand her, but the rest of you hear both this whisper and groaning growl of, I will not end <coughs> here. And she coughs and blood pours out of her mouth from these wounds that she's been aggregating from all of you, from the spear still in her body, from the crossbow bolt sticking out of her side. You take 10 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Is this hand sloped? Huh? Is this hand sloped that I'm standing on? A little bit, yeah. Because I'm unconscious. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't let you go, though. <laughs> You sink into her hands, and she pulls you in closely and looks over her shoulder at you, Aura. It's as if you kill me, we will go together. And then who will save him? And she holds on to your body as a security blanket. Okay. Uh, Fern, you're up. Ah, <sighs> okay. Finish him. <sighs> I can't do what I was gonna do because I think. Okay. Still in direwolf form. Um. 
How far to Opal? Hmm? How far, how far to Opal? Uh, it's going to be about 45 feet to get to Opal. Okay. Working through something in my head. No, take your time. I'll offer this up. Uh, Opal, can you give me a perception check? Mm-hmm. 19. I want. I wanted to see if the dice would allow me to tell a, a good story. Please. And this natural one. <laughs> As you go unconscious, Ariax, your body slopes in. She's not paying attention to what's on your body. As a bag slips free, <laughs> and Opal, you watch. As that like leather pouch clangs down the arm and scatters to the bottom. Actually, pretty close to uh, close to below where Dorian is uh, hovering. Where's that? Where's uh, Dorian? Dorian's like right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Do you know what you're doing? Um, if I take extra movement, mm-hmm. am I somehow able to just leap and jump up to the hand? I don't know if that's... What's your moves. dire wolf's movement? 50 feet. 50 feet in one round? 50 feet in one round. That's without, that's just said, the regular speed. This is 100 speed. feet away. So you've got the range if you use your dash, but I'm gonna have you make an acrobatics check to try to like, barkour since you're a dire wolf. Oh. 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 Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's inspiration right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, am I adding decks? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's that acrobatics. Would, okay, that would be uh, 19. Yeah, that does it. Go ahead and describe for me what it looks like as a dire fern sort okay. of scampers over this intense terrain and gets up to the hand. Um, standing there, seeing everything is just falling apart, um, just taking a running leap on top of the pillar, on top of the fence, the pillar by the hand, and just leaping up and just jumping right in front of her and just growling the just the loudest roar. And I am gonna twist the knife a little bit. So you just let you just left Mr.'s body there? I did. Okay. I did. All right. So that what so to dash is your action. So do you have any bonus action things you wanna do? Now that you're up in melee, as you see Murata injured, weakened. Feral is holding, clutching onto Dariax's limp form as she backs away towards the edge so that if you deal a killing blow, they will both fall off together. <sighs> Bonus action, what can I do is the dire wolf, jeez Louise. <clears throat> okay. Um... I think just as a bonus action, I'm just going to try to, she's holding Dariax, isn't she? Mm -hmm. I'm a liability. No, you're not. <laughs> and of course, when you got up there, she swiveled so that he is a little human shield between the two of you. And I don't have to remind you, you've played a lot of D&D, that if you do damage to her and you're not surgical about it, it hits him. And that's a crit. Two death saves. Instantly. Do I? So what do you want to do? Can I, can I, I can't still take a bite, can I? Uh, I don't think your bite is your bonus action. No. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stay and growl. Okay. Oh, go ahead and give me an intimidation check. Okay. <laughs> we like a scary. <laughs> Scary pepper. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Your roar is fearsome and mighty, but you see that this is a woman that doesn't have fear left anymore. Only loss mitigation, only desperately trying to figure out if there is a win to be carved here. She is past reasoning because she is holding on to the last scraps of her life in this moment. 
Okay. Okay. It's my turn. Dariax. I need you to make a death saving throw for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's an eight. It's a failure. That is one failure. Mm-hmm. Dorian. Oh no, Ted's up. Ted's eyes slide from Opal and look up at you of a height with her right now. And you see the flickering flash of arcane energy. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Who's it gonna be? You. <laughs> That's a natural 20. Yes! Yes! yes. That's a hashtag Amazing. bless. <laughs> Leave you right there. <laughs> Amazing. Two little shards of the like glowing crystal behind her eyes shear away and start to roll down like tears before th- th- they fly towards you, but they <laughs> shoot, you dodge them because you have many dimensions of movement. It's like three. <laughs> it's like three. It's like three, three dimensions. Three. three is many. Three yeah. is many. Yeah. Three is few. I'm very good at math. Not this is fine. Four. Not three. But few. All right, that's her turn. Dorian, you're up. Oh, fuck. Give me a perception check. Three. Dang, cool. You good? <laughs> <laughs> There's big eyes scare- staring at you, so I understand if your peripheral vision isn't quite what it used to be. <sighs> what you want to do? I am going to, um, I'm going to use my movement uh, to go straight to, to Dariac. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cut right over to him uh, and land on the hand. And she's got him grappled, right? Yeah. She literally turns to like obscure him from you and she curls over his body, still threatening the edge, and goes, No. And I say, No. And I grab them both. And as I grab them, I'm able to get just a tiny touch of Dariax's shoulder and well, cast. Do you, do you think you do? I hope so. Well, we're gonna roll about it, sir. <laughs> but bless you for being like, I definitely I'm trying to describe touch it, her. then you can describe my failure terribly. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm trying it's to do. That's what I want to do. I'm trying to, 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 I just want to touch Dariax somehow. Okay. And I that. need you to make, what do I want to call this? Make an attack roll. If you can beat her DC, but this is an unarmed strike. Treat this like an unarmed strike. Okay. If you can land the hit past her, I'll allow it. Okay. You have failed me for eight weeks. (laughs) This is your moment. Once one more week. (laughs) Redemption arc. Oh. 14. Did you roll it? Oh, uh. No. Do I get blessed? No, I'm unconscious. You're unconscious. Yeah, you're out. You're out. Finally. <laughs> That's right. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, that is 14. 14 doesn't hit. Do you have inspiration? I don't know. No. Is there anything else I you can do, Rad? I do have inspiration. Okay, I'm, sir. I'm not going to tell you whether or not to use it. I'm saying I'm about to. My dead friend said, he, he, my dead friend told me to. Fuck you, come on, Mr. Dice. I mean, or don't use it and you can join his ass. No, I'm second. using it! <sighs> don't keep us in suspense. 17. 17 just hits. Okay. You beautiful, beautiful baby. So I'll whip that arm around if she's got him shielded, I'm gonna whip that arm around both of them and get around her shoulder. And just get a tiny finger on Dariak, the nape of his neck. And I'll cast up. Oh, were you casting a spell? Yeah. Oh, my reaction's back. She's going to attempt to counterspell it. Okay. What, what do I have to do to challenge that? Yes. 
What's your spell level? See, in higher level games, this becomes an interesting, like, economy, but... I want to do a touch-based spell on Dariax. That's all I've ever wanted to do. How badly do you want to do it? Badly, yeah. Okay. You see as she goes to speak the words of Counterspell, spiders begin to pour out of her mouth, choking her words. And she screams and does not finish the spell. Go ahead. All right, then I will cast uh, my last spell slot. I'll cast level two Cure Wounds. Oh, shit. So 2d8 plus two. Go for it. Roll. All right. Mm, come back to me, little man. Oh, sh- I, can someone look at this? Take a big two D8s. What's eight plus eight? 16, 16. you raggedy yeah. boy. That plus two, 18. Nice. So wait, what does that mean for him? It he gets done. 18 points. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Level up. Oh. Level up, level up, level up. <laughs> And you hear as this spell goes off and you channel all of your fear and love for your friend into this spell and roll max healing just in your ear. That's a promise. Finish her. You have another action. What would you like to do? <sighs> And she's pretty fucked up. She's pretty fucked up, yeah. And she's now thrown off balance as like this heavy ass dwarf. Is now like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's a live weight. It's weird. He's moving and making choices. <clears throat> Oblong is a word you could use to describe him, I think. Yeah. Um, dump truck ass is what I would use. She's like, ah, oh, it's too thick. It's actually in my character description. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting you that in the finale? Yeah. I've run this game wrong. Uh, We're starting we're over. Starting over. It's a dating sim now. <laughs> you got a shelf butt. Got a shelf butt now. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't. Uh, you're giving me an action, but I haven't I'm used a bonus kidding, action. Man. Can I still control gravity? Yes, you can. I'm gonna take that little finger. It's only your gravity. Right. Okay. I'm gonna take that little finger though, and I'm gonna grab up the back of Dariax's collar. I'm gonna make myself heavy again. Oh. And for my attack, I'm gonna use an unarmed strike, and I'm gonna try to throw her off the hand. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dope. Go ahead. Yeah, do attack it. roll. Was my unarmed strike's okay. Let's go. Like Please. Hit her with a melee attack. Uh, that would be 16 plus four, dirty 20. It hits. Oh, please land next to me. Uh. You try to kick her off. Uh, go ahead and make a athletics check, and I'm gonna make a strength save. To see if you okay. Athletics. I could be okay. My highest stat, 17. 11 plus six. Take a sip. <laughs> Did I throw her off the hand while I got my buddy? You kick her. Roll the damage. Yes. Oh, it's not much. Uh, but I just want her to go away. It just says. Three. Okay. You do three points. Where do you kick her? Ooh, right in the baby maker. Just right above Ooh. the pelvis. I was gonna say, I'm Kinda like, the baby's not gonna hurt. Got her like here, and it's just sort of a sidekick, and it folds her in half as I send her launching off of the hand. Oh wait, did I say that you said Fuck, that's what I was trying to do! <laughs> <laughs> she doubles over, and her hands, let, like finally letting go of Dariax, grab onto your clothing. Ugh. And she sits down low and says, I do not end this way. She made it with an 18. Fucking cuddle puddle. Oh no. <laughs> Worst. All right. Uh, good try. That was a good try. Oh. Opal, you're up. Okay, she's still on the hand. She's still on the hand, but. <laughs> is having a very bad day. Okay. I'm gonna use my movement. Um, I can't get on the hand. I mean, how would You're I You're gonna do that? struggle to get up there. Yeah, how would I do that? I can't. Ted's eyes flash back towards you 
and watches in this moment of indecision. Can I talk to Dad? Of course you can. You don't have to roll for it anymore. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm out of options. I, I don't know what to do. Come to me. You want help? She doesn't answer that. Okay, you hear so, sort of a like apologetic whimper. Okay, okay, so 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 okay, my options are I go for the bag or I go for Ted. What do you want to do? You know what the bag will do. You don't know what running into her open mouth will do. In fact, give me an insight check. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can ask for them too. Oh, Shit. Oh, that's a natural 20. Yes. Oh my god. That's amazing! Damn. Back to back to back to back! Seven. It's a busy game. Scripted, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the writers on the show are excellent. Really good. <laughs> you hear as she says that there's a turn to the way she put it. It wasn't, it's not the cadence you know. Not to mention that Ted is fiercely independent. That's like a phrase you've probably never heard her say. Yeah. And with that, you're just at the very edge of your perception, ever so aware that up high, as you were looking back between the hand and Ted, even in this moment where you were locked in talking to her, Murata's lips moved mm. at the same time. And that was not a message from your sister. Okay. I wanna go for the bag. Uh, how far is it away? You'll away. get there. Okay, so I'll get there. What do you want to do once you're there? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Not me. Oh, oh. Two points of poking. Back. Okay, this hair is very bad for maps. Uh, <laughs> but good for Luke. Um, how close are my friends to Murata? Like, is she using either of them as a shield at this point or not really? She is surrounded by your squad. I don't know what to tell you. Like, what are you asking me? They are like, do mobbing her. Shot? Do I have a clear shot? Oh, you her? do not have a clear shot. No, 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 no but you've just grabbed the bag. What do you do once you have the bag? It's been eight weeks. I, swear to God. I just feel like, oh, that's a tough decision. What do you do? Okay, so like, I'm just gonna talk out loud. Yeah. So, I feel like she's so close to dying, but like, so are my Ooh. friends, Murata. Okay, yeah. But like, so, are my friends. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know what Ted needs to be broken from the spell other than killing her, but I can't kill her from where I'm at mm -hmm. with what I have or don't have. I mean, you have Eldritch Blast. I that know, but you said trick. that my friends are like, it's not, not, a, not clear a clear shot. shot. <sighs> Doesn't mean it's an impossible shot. It just means that there's a chance it'll get fun okay. for me. I'm gonna do Eldritch Blast. We can take it, we can take it. Hold me. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Before you do that, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <sighs> 16. Why are you hesitating? Because you have given me no assurances about anything. You just want me to put this fucking crown on and you can still kill, and my friends can still die. I want you to die. hold your power. But I don't want power. I want to save my friends, bitch. So give me that option and I'll put it on. What do you think it's going to take? I don't know. What do you mean? What? You want the power to save your I friends. I don't want the power. I just want to save my friends. Then fine. Take the shot. Try not to kill them. See what I care. <sighs> Fucking coward. Don't kill us. The R, her AC has gone up significantly because she has got cover behind. Her AC's gone up? Yeah, dog. Roll good. Roll good. <sighs> Roll good or wear a hat. Your choice. Your choice. What do you want in this moment? Do you want to confirm the kill? Yes. And put on the hat. <laughs> Ooh. Y'all have oh, walked around so with tough. a fucking vestige for hear. a full campaign. <laughs> It would be, I would be remiss if I didn't do everything in my power to get you to put it on. See what it's like. I bet it's great. Do what you want to do. I'm done talking to you. Make a choice. Uh, 
Okay, sorry. Can I talk to spider bitch again? <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer if you didn't call me that, but okay. hello. If I put this on, yeah. will I guarantee kill her? What, what, what do I get? Make a persuasion check. <sighs> it's an eight. Sure. <laughs> I'll make sure you finish the job. Okay. If you don't trust yourself, trust me. I don't trust you. I have seen things that you can't even imagine. I was here when the earth was ripped from the plains and formed into this. I have fought gods and heroes. I am older than time. I can kill one bitch. Just trust me. Trust, trust yourself. I don't trust you. <sighs> then you've already lost. You have to believe in something. I believe in my sister. She's barely your sister at this point. No, she's not. She's. She's fooling my sister. Oh. Then you should do whatever it takes to save her. Okay, so I know as a player that this is fucking stupid. I'm having a very good time. I enjoy Dungeons and Dragons very much. <laughs> I'm like trying to like get a telepathic I would, message. I don't know what I would do. There's no wrong choices. Yeah. Yes, there is. Not really. Yeah. The, All right. sto the story no, goes on yeah. regardless. Okay, I. Yeah. All I choices think lead to interesting yeah. stories. Okay, I. I really think that I think that Opal is has spent so long trying to get away from Ted, and now all she wants is for Ted to be safe, and she's gonna put it on. Yes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I'm into it. You grab the crown. Yeah. And you hold it over your head, and before you can finish, because you're still even in that last second hesitating, you feel the thorns get a little longer and reach and touch your scalp. They begin to bury themselves into your scalp. You feel the fresh flow of blood, and as you see a little bit of it drip off of your eyelash over your eye, it's so dark, black, sticky. And you don't feel the pain of it. You only feel a surge of energy. Please take the effect of a long rest. Your hit points come back up, your spell slots come back. And I need you to describe to me, what does Ted look like? No? No. We all see this lovely oh. potato. <laughs> potato! Um. Ted, what did Ted look like? Ted is like opal, but like without the makeover, like without the dye job. So she's got like a she's got brown hair. It's like in a French braid, and she wears like very sensible clothing, and yeah, it's just kind of like an inch shorter than opal and less sparkly. Um, but she just she looks just like her. She just doesn't have the accoutrement of, like, glamour. You all see, as as the circlet of barbed vision settles on her head, her hair seems to, like, go slippery and wet as the dye job slips away and, rec and shows that brown underneath, but then grows back in, first black and then pure shocking white, actually opalescent. Not a die job, the real you, and your eyes go dark black, and the curve of your lips, that little snarling smile is more your sister's than yours. And you change just a little bit, and you can feel it the entire time. This is the Spider Queen's joy, is twisting the appearance of others. But the thing that she takes the most delight in is forcing you to reckon with the fact that you and your sister are a union of souls and you will always look like it. 
Your body gets just a little wider, stronger, less concerned about aesthetics and more concerned about power. The effect of the vestige takes place. Your charisma will drop by two. But your dexterity will go up by two also. I need you to make your attack roll. Okay. Uh, first, though, can I um, take a bonus action of Misty stepping a little closer to her? Oh, I'll allow it. Okay. You can get right so. up in there. You appear behind her. I think I think instead of Eldritch Blast, <laughs> instead of Eldritch like, Blast, I'd like to um, take out my dagger. Yeah. Oh boy. And I would like to slit her throat. <laughs> yeah. And your hand slides out faster than you can even see as you grab her by the back of her hair, pull her neck open. Go ahead and make an attack roll for me with advantage. I'll see her. Oh, wow. Two 17s. Okay. Plus anything? Or Plus is it 17 on the dice? Or 17 on the dice, but what do I add? Anything? That's your dagger. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> ah. Let's go. Come wow. through Blade. Oh, oh. 22. Yes. An absolute hit. And all of you see standing before you opal, different, fiercer stronger as you grab her by the head and run the blade across her throat. Roll your damage. Five. And try it down. She was doing very badly for a very long time. So how do you want to do this? <laughs> As you hear the spider queen laugh in your ear. I just, she takes, she grabs her by the back of the head, like very tightly, like, like almost like she wants to pull the hair out of her fucking scalp. You feel it give a little bit, you rip. Yeah. Pulling half of her hair out, but you still have a hold. And then she like, grabs a dagger from where she keeps it near her ankle, and she puts it to her throat, and she says, you can't have her, and then slices it. As, as hard as she can, and I don't know what that does. You cut through and you feel the scrape, you feel the rush of what blood was left in here splash over your hand, and you feel the resistance of her spine as you run your blade through her flesh and across it. And her mouth opens as if to speak, but this was too lethal, too much all at once. And it just hangs open. I feel like I want to take her head or maybe move my own body and I want her to stare into my eyes as she dies. You turn and you hold her, holding her by the head. It opens up even more as she spills out that last in her and she just stares at you and she blinks and blinks again and you see that same crystal glow from the summoning of Ted into this world and she blinks again and you see Ted's dark eyes and she blinks again and they're her own gray eyes as the light finally leaves them and she goes limp in your arms. And it's over. So what do you want to do? I, I, do I have any, anything left? Any bonuses? No. Okay, you calm down with the initiative thing. You, <laughs> you killed the bad guy. Okay, okay. Well, I was going to give some healing to people, but um, I, I honestly, I just want to know where my sister is. Like, what does that mean now that she's gone? What does that mean? I mean, you see the construct still there, standing, mouth agape. You're out of initiative, but this isn't over yet. So what do you want to do? Uh, That's uh, a question to everyone. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk to Ted. That's what I want, but I don't know what We'll see what is. everyone else is doing okay. first. We'll come back around to you. Yeah, you yeah, had yeah. a big round and I'm very proud of you. I know. I'm just Thanks for putting on the hat. No. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Uh, Orem watched all of that happen from a distance, saw her down there, saw the change, saw her suddenly appear up there, saw what happened. He throws the crossbow down and pulls his blade back out and is just 
He looks at Dorian and Dariax, who he has been worried off and on about for weeks, and centers on Opal as he comes down off of the column to the base of it, 30 feet away from the, the bottom of the arm, and just watches and waits. Okay. Give me... Give me an arcana or insight check. You can tell me what kind of check you want to make right now. You are a man accustomed to watching and sensing danger. So what are you trying to figure out? I'll make a history check. Okay. From everything that I've heard and overheard from people far wiser than me. Okay. 23. Your mind reaches back to stories, liturgies about the gods of Tal'Dorei, of Exandria, of the betrayer gods and the divine gate of good and of evil. You've heard so many stories, but you've heard new ones too, ideas from the Tetrarchs in Nyrdalpak, an idea of power, raw and unadulterated, lacking distinction, simply calling out to be used. And that flows with everything that you see around you as the miasma that's given you strength it's given others insane abilities that's allowed Ted to be summoned from deep within your friend's soul and brought into the world. It's just power. And even though this vestige was marked by the Spider Queen, it is wielded by a friend. And she can decide what she will make of it. It still leaves him watching silently. Anyone else? Uh, that's literally what he's doing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, just staring at Opal, crimson splattered, the body crumbling of our antagonist and kind of glancing at, like looking at Opal, but also kind of facing towards Dory and Infern a bit with the face, like, uh, Opal, yo, uh, yo, you okay? Am I okay? Are you? Can I, what would I roll for that? I'd like to know if there's anything that's sort of changed in my, Look, look at me. Yeah. You've been playing this for weeks now. Yeah. The stats are guidelines. You know your character, so how is Opal doing? I think she's really scared. Opal, you okay? All right, all right. Uh, okay. I go over still in, I'm still in wolf form with two points left, and I just start trying to lick her hands and clean off the blood. I look over towards Dorian. Let's, uh, let's get you down. Let's get you down where it's safe. I'm gonna lift her. I'm gonna lift her up. I have a question. Uh, do you recall? Do we still have the residuum in our bag somewhere? You do. <clears throat> Who has it? Dariax or Orm? One or the other. It's been a while. I think I have some. <laughs> I think it was. I I, I remember it as okay. Orem, but it could be someone else. You could all have some. I don't know. And and one environmental question. I'm done with questions. No, I love questions. Does it seem like Muddy Ted has stopped moving? They're sort of inanimate, or she's paused. Yeah, but you like looking at her. It's strange. You see a sense of like breathlessness. Panting. 
Um, do you still have the residual? I do. Can I see it? And I'm going to take it in this bag or whatever and some of it out. I'm going to say, Opal, do you trust me? Yes. Because I want to try something. Okay. And I'm going to take a piece out and I'm just going to touch it to one of the pieces on her body and then see if I can make a connection. Can, mm. I, can I pull a string from the is it, Can I continue this connection that she has? Make a spell attack roll for me. 18, because I don't, well, I don't know what my spell attack is. Is that an 18 on the dice? Yes. Oh shit, okay. Uh, it's whatever that modifier is to hit. I know a lot of your things are spell they're or all, saves. They're all saves, yeah. Uh, go to above. Plus four, 22. Perfect. Yeah, with a 22, you reach out with like a little shard of the residuum and you touch it. And you kind of quirk your head and you tap it like a tuning fork, a very specific clear tone emerges from it. Right. And you're able to pull and you feel something catch as you create a new tether. Mm. So I'm gonna take that piece very carefully and use my boots and my movement remaining and flutter over to the head mm -hmm. and sort of hover by it. I'm gonna take- It turns and regards you. <laughs> It turns what? It turns to regard. Oh. Like it I'm walks, stare it turns it down. as you come over. And I'm just gonna take this piece and put it in and see if it reacts into the kind in of- In where? Like right in the center of its forehead into the muck and mire and, and see if I can plug one little piece in. The 22, you push in and then for the first couple seconds, it feels like flesh, hard to penetrate, and then you focus. You think about that sound again. You don't realize it, but you start humming, pitch perfect. And you push, and it slips in. And you can feel and almost see that the connection is preserved. And it's not fucking with me. It's not regarding me anymore. Uh, I mean, still she's looking still at looking at you. Mm. She's very confused about gonna, what's happening. I am going to start taking out the rest of the re residuum and and pulling from my memory from what we saw in the glyphs. Uh, I'm going to try to spell uh, opal with residuum. I'm going to try to make the glyph that we saw. Amazing. Uh, go ahead and make make a history check. If anyone else wants to help, you can give them advantage. Yes, that one <clears throat> I'd, I'd probably give disadvantage if I tried. No! Yeah. Not again, great. Roll again. Yeah. Roll again. Oh, mm. what? Advantage. Advantage. Roll advantage. Oh, advantage. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ten. You begin. Where are you? Where are you trying to like trace these runes? Right. Mm center of his third eye right there. I'm trying to recall from my memory of the things that we saw. Like, I, I feel like I remember the list of things that we saw, like minerals, and, and I'm trying to piece together what the glyph for opal would look like. I want all of you to make a check for me. I want you to decide what it is as you watch and see your friend struggling, but you realize what he's attempting to do. You can tell me what the role is. Is it arcana? Is it history to remember? Is it religion for this sort of deific language? You tell me what you roll. Arm. Um, I'll roll history again. I'm feeling really out of my depths. I'm good at Swords. Uh, 18. 
And you are good at more than swords. And as you sort of like come around to see Dorian's progress, your brow furrows a little bit. And you see that though he's begun, the way these glyphs work is a description of a thing. It's not opal, it's stone that catches fire. It glimmers like stars and you begin to shout up corrections, ideas, the beginnings of something more complex to encapsulate your friend. Fern, what do you roll? I feel like, I feel like this is trying to save a life. Um, so I guess medicine. I love that. <laughs> oh, that was just a jerk. Six. Have you used your inspiration? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's cocked. Okay. Nineteen. Amazing. You're watching the carving of these glyphs and then this tremendous compassion for life. Because even though you're a wildfire druid, your primary domain is life. And you know that the things that this is missing, that, that connection that you need to maintain is one of life and you add, you shout up, that she's not just a stone, but a person, a sibling, a loved one, a connection. And as you shout these things, the sigil that you're carving continues to change and grows in complexity. You're getting closer. <sighs> Dariax, what do you roll? Um, most of my focus has been on Opal at this point, but I hear the conversation glance over and while I don't fully grasp the concept of what Dorian's doing, I also, physically touch those runes and I'm like and it's supposed so there's supposed to be a line in the hold on and he like takes the spear and climbs down the hand and goes over and starts climbing up the side of the earth structure that I think probably at this point he hasn't he's been so focused on other things he doesn't realize is a giant head yet oh god <laughs> <laughs> he just thinks it's a weird lumpy mountain uh Amazing. <laughs> Bless. But he climbs up and starts like, kind of taking his thumb and trying to correct his stuff. And I think as far just a straight dexterity check to see if he can like recreate that. these runes yeah. accurately and from also, memory. I'll, I'll, I'll half my residuum that we're sort of making this out of with with Dariax. I'll give him some so he can help me. Okay. All right. As you're physically interacting, he's providing the help action, so you roll with yours with advantage. All right. Eighteen. The forms come, and almost without knowing where they're supposed to end, like an artist just following shapes and hoping the thing will emerge, it becomes clearer, more precise. You're almost there. One more. Opal. What do you do? Um, I feel like Opal's just sort of desperate, so like, the only thing you can do when you're desperate is to try to like, persuade the thing to go your way, so persuasion. Who are you trying to persuade? <laughs> the fucking Ted, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, persuade her to come back. Okay. Make a persuasion check. Lucky number 13. <laughs> hey, coming back around. Come back. And you are 
begging. You drop to your knees and cry out for Ted and you can feel that even with that new tether provided by Dorian, she's slipping away. She's almost gone. You're almost free, but that's not what you want. And your begging doesn't just reach out to her, it's to anything. And that miasma of energy, once blue, now purple, and sort of resolving back into blue again and beginning to fade as the sun begins to drop below the canopy. You ask power itself, potential for help. Make a new role, something else, but make it with advantage as power reaches back to you, flows into you. Pick or not? Pick a new role. Pick a new role? Yeah, make a new role. What are you trying to do to finish this? If you really want it to be persuading your sister to allow this to happen, no, to let it finish. I, I guess, I guess maybe she's not in control of it, right? I'm assuming. Would it be religion? I don't hate that. Just literally, like, what do you do when you're so desperate? You just, like, pray. Yeah. <laughs> Roll with advantage. Um, 16. No, no, no. Yeah, 16. Fuck. <laughs> <gasps> uh, at least it wasn't 13. <laughs> it wasn't 13. You're good. And you reach out. And then you see. You start. It's a prayer. It begins as a prayer. A beseeching. To something. But then it moves past that because you have that realization. But as you ask, you get it. And you go from prayer, from a pilgrim attempting something to something closer to a cleric, someone that understands the nature of religion, not of the gods, not even the one that has like granted you this vestige just power and potential. And in that moment, in that space and breath of understanding, you can understand the glyphic language. And you know the forms. And you shout and help your friends finish. As you successfully carve the rune, that means opal, that means sister and family and home and safety and belonging. That's what Opal is. Not just to Ted, but to all of you. And the ritual completes. And you feel and see as the last bits of that energy scatter out and away and leave you in the last moments of a blue hour on a beautiful night as the stars begin to unfurl and unfold and shine down on you. And the light in Ted's eyes moves from purple to that same blue of the sky and then flashes like an opal in the firelight before dimming and everything begins to sink back down into the ground. Those of you in the hand, gently write it back down to the level of the ground. Those of you on the head sort of coasting cascade down. As Ted goes back, as she retreats from the physical world and goes home. And it gets really quiet for a long moment. And then you begin to hear out and far away because the surrounding jungle is still leveled from the force of everything that's happened here. But life begins to stir again and you can hear off in the distance the sounds of the jungle returning. I run over. 
over to Opal and I just grab her and hold her. <sighs> I'm sorry. Me too. Watch all of this slowly flutter down to Dariax and just glance over at him and reach my hand out for a gentle low five so no one can see. <laughs> Is she gone? Um, I think maybe Opal would try one more time to see if she could connect with her. Make a, make a charisma saving throw. What, you said, did my charisma go down? Yeah, by two. So that is um, a 10. It's okay. It's not very hard because this is a part of you. It would take a great act to distract you from that feeling as you look inward. And you don't see her, but you feel her. She's exhausted, but safe. You feel whole again in your way. She's there and she's okay. Is she alive? In her way. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Opal, I want you to make a history check for me. Um, that is a nine. <laughs> You're good. You're feeling a lot of feelings right now and putting together clues from your life is a difficult thing to do. That's what time likes and perspective and not being fresh in the moment. But your mind drifts back towards your mother. And she left. There was always something strange to her. You remember as a child looking up at her as she would get lost in a mirror. Deep in contemplation, her, her gaze turned inward on herself. Hmm. And something about that sparks recognition. And the beginnings of a question. For another time. Um, I'm gonna go over to Mr.'s body and I'm gonna pick him up. And I think I have this spell. Yes, I do. Um, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on him. Go ahead and roll. You're healing. You hold on to Sorry, this. guys, I didn't realize I had had the reason. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, you were doing murder bites. It's all right. It's okay. We were it, up on the hand. I was like, oh, whoops, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> For whatever it's yeah. worth, they would have no idea that this looks like cure wounds because as you sort of wrap and fold yourself around Mister, a blaze begins that starts in your chest and spreads to him and consumes him, but does not destroy him. But you look down through the blaze, which is warm and comforting to you, but it ravages that little oasis. The ferns catch, the wood catches, the tree is sent up as if it was old and dried 
and not full of water in the middle of a rainforest in the middle of a jungle <laughs> is consumed utterly and yet you in the ashes when all else falls away you're holding mister who's looking up at you with giant eyes and an open mouth full of bright happy orange flame as he grabs onto your cheek and brings them close as he gives you a playful bite on the nose oh, and hugs no. your face. You did so well. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a bite back. <laughs> and he like nuzzles into you. When the anxiety fades of the near forest fire that burst forth and yeah, then put bit. itself out. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> you all right? Is her eye still black with the crown on? Mm-hmm. Does the crown look painful and is her head bleeding? The crown, if you, I mean, you have a high passive. You see that the crown is buried in but what's running off isn't blood. But whatever it is, it stopped flowing. I'm not gonna lie. You look pretty cool. I think then that's when Opal realizes she has it on. I mean, she's probably known, but as much as powerful as it is, I think she would take it off. She'd take it off. So she takes it off. You can certainly try. Oh, she can. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Give me another charisma saving throw. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Hold on, let me count. <laughs> no. <I'm> 13! <laughs> Damn! Oh, uh, number two auspicious. I can't. I can't not play with it. You wrap your hands around and you feel like the actual pricks of it in your skin and you feel that it immediately draws blood from your fingertips. As I take it out? Or as you grab it. Okay. And then you hear. Why don't you why don't you keep it on for a while? And decide. And you try to pull it free and you feel it like shifting something below your skin. It seems a little bit uh, ill-advised to try to pull free right now. You can certainly keep going, but you will take damage. Well, uh, hope it looks good, because it's uh, staying on. I love it. Thanks. I actually yeah. think it's it's a much more beautiful crown than the one you won in the pageant. Oh, thank yeah. you. I don't feel evil, so. Ah, men. I think we're just glad you're okay. Thank you. That we're all okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Anybody need any hit points? Or healing? I'm all right. I'm okay. Same. <clears throat> Maybe if we camp tonight, try to take it off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try to take it off. I mean, oh. we'll work on it. Sure. Maybe like. A little lube or something. Yeah. Maybe you just live with it for a few days. Yeah. Or maybe she tries to take it off tonight. Or she can try to take it off. As like you guys, it. as you all kind of fall into this pattern, relief and exhaustion taking over as the night sky fully blooms out before you. We end. No. But this isn't the end. There really aren't any endings here. The world keeps going and your story keeps going. And this is just the beginning of a new and glorious story for you all. But it is a story for another time. And as the sun sinks away, you all are walking into your proverbial sunset. So my last question for you, and I didn't think I was going to cry, but <sighs> what direction are you all walking in? And with whom? <sighs> I 
Dorian. No. No. You're I, not ready uh, yet. It's okay. I'll go to someone else. I No, no. I, I look to Orm like I always have for direction. And see if I'll follow. I'm really not a leader. But you're the best with maps. I won't turn down the company. Meji's still out there. We definitely did not find him, Meji. <laughs> We're still being hunted by a ton of assassins. Are we? Maybe we. Maybe we nip that in the bud. Best to assume not, though. Oh no, they'll, they'll still be coming after us. Like it, it's a thing. <clears throat> Theory X. You are so often blown by the whims and wind of the world. What are you gonna do? Do you stay? Do you go? Um. I am, to a fault, a follower when someone shows me a course of leadership. Um, I think based on this experience, until the wind blows heavy enough to blow him off course, <laughs> he's gonna be anchoring himself to this core group, which as he's looking around and kind of looking at everybody, exhausted, coming to rest for the night, he goes like, how about the crown keepers? <laughs> the crown keepers? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, if Opal could use it, surely we all could use it from time to time. Well, at the very least, if we're keeping the Opal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you don't mind, like, at some point, stopping back by my town so I could tell my dad about Ted. Or maybe she's there, I don't know where she is. But yeah, I'll, I'll Crown Keeper's a great name. Who doesn't I mean, love alliteration, am I right? Yeah. Sure. Right, right. <laughs> we can come up with another idea once we get rid of this thing, but until then, yeah. I'll go with any name, name, but, um. I can definitely get behind friends. Fern? What do you do? I... I had, I had some things that I, I needed to do, but... I think there's still some things that we maybe need to complete, and, and I don't think I'm ready to leave you all yet. Because thinking about that just makes me very sad. So, let's just keep going. Yeah, we're this close. We find this Meji person, get him back safe and sound, and then uh, then we can have this conversation again. Maybe we can help you do the things you wanted to do. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't really care what we do, <laughs> as long as I'm with you. Start with a Meji. Maybe start trekking back north and figure it out from there. Yeah. You want to stop home again? I guess I could just write a letter or something. I don't know. I'm out of pies. Mm. Well, maybe we should show them that, you know, you're a forever gem of Byroden. Yeah. A new glorious crown. Yeah. yeah. And after that, we take the show on the road. 
<gasps> the black swan. We still have a standing that's invite. That's true. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Star yeah. the Star and that's the star. True. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I think we got a play. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I okay. told you you were a leader. <laughs> Orm just quiets down completely and listens to them laugh and talk and smile and is so happy to be seeing that. And it's good to have a circle of friends like this. And the whole time he's also just watching that crown. No, it's not very pretty. He thinks that's a problem for tomorrow. It's a problem for tomorrow and a story for another day. So that's where we'll close the first season of Alexandria Unlimited. Okay. I, was I didn't ah! kill any of you, and I wanted to <laughs> so badly. <laughs> that last 10 minutes was the sweetest shit ever. Yeah, it really was. You are the cutest. Mm. It's been such an honor to play and run for you guys. Thank you. I love you. I love oh. you. I love all of you. I love all you oh, nerds. Watch so out for loops. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, not today. Mm. Uh, <sighs> all right. Well, we'll end there. Until we all meet again. Be safe. We all love you very much. And is it Thursday yet? <laughs> Pasca holds court in a dimly lit room that could barely pass for an office. She kicks her feet up on the desk, soft split leather soles giving some inkling as to her roguish nature. And all around her, though unseen, the gentle creaking of leather alerts you to the other people in the room, so often accustomed to leaning back hanging in the shadows. All right then. I thought we could be different, nobler than the myriad or the clasp, more incisive in our purpose, but my generosity was exploited and I'm not at my best when my feelings are hurt. So, violence then. And woe betide any of those fools if they should come back into my city. 